recording. All right, Dungeon of Mad Maid, session number 60. Um, so, uh, last week, uh, you finished off the fight with the uh, Aboleth uh, in Klaabu. Um, you turned on Klaabu, betrayed him, and killed him. Uh, just to save uh, Lear's ass. As the Aboleth said that neither kill Klaabu or uh, Lear no longer has a head. So, uh, kill Klaabu, grabbed the uh, green control gem uh, that you found out. Uh, later on, that's what it was. Uh, you headed up uh, the river, uh, saw Nugaloop and a few friends. Um, they were very cross at you because they knew something happened to Kalabu and you were um, running away, uh, so to speak. Um, and he wanted you to kill the Aboleth to go back. Uh, when that time came around, uh, Jibber Jabber showed up and um, helped you guys out by uh, start clobbering all the fish folk. Um, and uh, instead of helping anything, you just ran away. So that was good. Um, and then you saw the alchemist as you were about to leave the level. Because uh, Lear had to breathe out of a bucket, or a helmet I should say, water because he was poisoned. Uh, and um, uh, Griff could not heal him, as this was an ancient uh, type disease or poison. And some tense moments with the alchemist, as he really wanted that control gem. Um, and as you found out, he was a green slod. Um, you relented and gave the control gem to him. Uh, he followed you up and out. You did find some information, and this is where one of the retcons is. Um, you went up to level two, found a secret door with a <clears throat> portal. Uh, it is the same match of a portal that was on level four uh, to use the gold coin. Uh, so you figured, and you heard that uh, two drow came through um, a day before, kind of from that direction. The one thing I do have to retcon from that is I gave you experience for completing the level. Actually, you have not completed the level. There is still a couple spots you haven't been to. So, <clears throat> you haven't found. Uh, with that, you fouled up and you met Val. Uh, and this is where the second retcon is. The drow never went up to the yawning portal. So this is what happens when you hurry up and don't read over your notes. They never went up to the yawning portal. They went up to, from level 2 to level 1, but never went up to the yawning portal. Okay, so they're still somewhere in the dungeon. We yes, assume. they are in the dungeon somewhere. They could be on level one. You know there is a portal on level one. So, but, um, so there's that. Uh, Vale gave you some instructions. Um, to use the portal on level two. Uh, the one that Grot came through. That'll get you to level five. Um, he then headed up uh, to the yawning portal, um, and um, you went to the Temple of Helm to get Griff, or excuse me, Lear healed. Uh, but as you got there, uh, looks like the poison finally wore, wore off, and he could breathe air again. And then you headed back to your wonderful abode. Um, found out that the curse is getting a little bit stronger as far as the shadow curse. As uh, Devlin had um, an incident where one of his shadow actually came alive, but Darabeth saved him uh, and destroyed that shadow. So that is where you currently are. Oh, and uh, you got a visit from Three Strings offering you some uh, weapons. And. Um, 
you uh, decided not to buy anything. So that is where we're at. We are in the wonderful house. Let me add all our wonderful friends that are kind of around you. They are not they are not angry at you, so they are all quite friendly. And at this time it is about two o'clock in the afternoon. Um Yoslin uh just came by and said that he still needs another day or so for the potions. Uh for at least two of the potions. Uh if you want all five, it's gonna be another three, four days at least. Yeah, didn't we say we were gonna wait the one day so we can get a couple potions and then head out or something? Yeah. Was that the last thing we seen? I think that's that sounds thing. like us. Yeah. Yeah. Um so as you're, you're talking, you, you're taking your showers and everything because uh, you, you stunk. Um, uh, you do get uh, Mel does come in. Uh, so Mel, uh, our wonderful doppelganger friend, comes in, and yes. he um, he comes up to all of you um, and goes, uh, "I need I need at least a hundred gold." I've got, um, I have got some leads on the traveler, but I have to bribe some officials to get into some old, um, records. So I'm going to need at least a hundred gold, if not 150 to get this information. Okay. Yeah. All right, what's that? Ten platinum, right? Yep. All right, I'll subtract ten platinum. That's Lear. Uh -huh. Down to fifty-three. Do we okay. need? Uh, do you say maybe one fifty, right? I'll give oh, yeah. He's, sorry. he's like uh, yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, I can return whatever. Yeah, I'll give him five platinum to cover it. Okay. Um, he goes. Yeah, I don't want to say anything yet, but I'm. I'm on the trail here uh, for the the traveler. I, I don't I don't have anything on this other whatever is watching the house. Okay. I uh, nothing yet. It's only been a day or two, so um, so well I'm I'm still working that angle, but right now I'm focusing on this traveler thing. Cool. And he goes, it's going to take me probably a couple days, so... Okay. I don't know when you guys are heading back down the dungeon, but... We'll be here at least another day. Yeah, okay. We might just miss you. All right, if I got any information, I'll let you know. Okay. Uh, and he, he kind of just scurries right off. He grabs a sandwich on his way out, and... And off he goes. So... We'll see now later. Cool. Um, another couple hours go by, uh, and uh, you see um, Sheila. She uh, kind of walks in and says, uh, "You have a visitor." Uh, and before she can even say anything else, you see behind her. Walking in is the Blackstaff. Oh. Oh, hey. Hey, Jazz. Um, and, uh, you know, she's... Come on in. Kind of, uh, just kind of walks right in, right? Just no problem. Doesn't wait for anything. Just walks right by Sheila. Sheila's like, uh, okay. Yep. Um... And uh, the black staff comes right up to the table uh, and says, "What is the progress report from the dungeon?" Uh, let's see. 
Um, I don't think we're going to hold anything back from her. There's nothing really to hold back. Yeah. Right? We can let her know that we've cleared out, basically cleared out the first three levels. The fourth level's got an abolith on it that we got to avoid yeah. right now. Except for Skullport, obviously. And it... Right, and Skullport's on three, though, right? Yeah, yeah, we didn't, like, clear that. No, we didn't, we didn't clear three. Yeah, you're right, right, yeah. So three actually has the Hobgoblin still. Very few, though. Yeah. And then level one still has Val, which they, they, did they tell us to leave her alone? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Le level one still has Val. Level two has the, ho uh, the Goblin Market. That's it. Level three has one area that we haven't touched. And uh, Skullport and a few Hobgoblins. And then level four has the Aboleth, but everything else on that level was, we think is cleared out. Yeah, except for a couple of drow that made their way up to, we think they're level hiding out on two. level one somewhere. Yeah, one or two, yeah. And, and then we're getting ready to head to level five. We, we have found nothing, at, as far as we know, no clues toward the shadow stuff, right? Yeah, we okay, haven't that's encountered not anything. yet. So she's Which is like, crazy. So, so nothing. Nothing about the shadow curse. Not yet. I mean, no. there's 23 levels, uh, you know. Right, right. Yeah. So. Oh, and we know that your other party that you sent down went back up because we helped rescue them. And they probably won't be proceeding. Yeah, we got the full report. Yes. Sir. Well, I don't. So I don't know that we would have held anything back. I think we would have just told her. Did you? Do you say anything about the green slot? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, so um, she's, you know, she's kind of looking over, uh, her, kind of her haughty, arrogant self, right? Uh, asks a few questions that you answer, um, you know. Uh, and and then she kind of focuses like so this abolith. What's the deal with that? As soon as we're as soon as we're capable, our intent is to take it out. But right now we can't. How much of a threat is this abolith to Waterdeep at this point? Well, it probably lies, but it said it wanted to take over that level four, yeah. and to, for us to stay off of level four. Right, yeah, and, and that's what he said. Yeah. That was truthful, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we doubt it's a good thing that it's still there. Right. Yeah. Right. We're working on it. So I would say it's contained, but who can trust an abolith? Yeah. He told so us it wants level four, so it's probably going to stay there for a while. So there's nothing on that level now that can contain it, like offer. Offer a fight against it. And you killed this. Probably not. God of uh, the, the Kuatoa. Correct. Yeah, Klabu. Yeah, whatever. She's like, yeah, whatever. Um, oh, where's my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I mean, we thought the same thing, so we were like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Klabu. Um, we didn't believe it. Yeah. So she's like, all right, so we've got an Abolith on the fourth level that's running rampant. We have Hobgoblins on the third level that seems to have like a military type code. Yeah, they're orderly. Second level. What's that? I was just agreeing with you. They're, they're ordered. Oh. They're not. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've, they're, they're actually they, blo blocking things from level four coming up. No, they can't. They're not going to be able to stop the abolith, but they are at least blocking other things from coming up from level four. But that's you know. Okay. What? Um, and level two's got the goblin market. I've heard about that. And on the first level, you have Vale. Right. Okay. And the goblin market, they have no interest of leaving the goblin market. So. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, so you're heading down to level five. That's the intent. What do you know of level five? Uh, it's wooded. It's wooded. That's it. Yeah, like a forest. 
It's about, also named something Five. About, <laughs> something wow. And with, were we warned? We were warned not to kill anything down there too, right? Yep. Yeah, the, I think it's because the druids down there, and I think they'd be mad if we started killing their friends. And that's the that's the gist that I get. Ooh, ouch. We want it, would we share about the other side mission we have about getting rid of the werebats? Yeah. Let's we'll say we heard there's werebats. Yeah. Okay. And those are on level five? That's what we were told. Yeah. Well, it came, that came from Val, so go, Matt, yeah, go exactly. figure. How much true is there? You know? So trusting a vampire again. It's like trusting the Abolith. Right. She wanted if she wanted you dead, you'd be dead. But yeah, but if she if she wants to tell us the truth, she can. Otherwise, she she can choose not to. So you just got to assume everything yeah. she says is a lie and go from there. Just because she doesn't want to kill us doesn't mean she's not manipulating us. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm a rogue. I don't I don't think anybody tells the truth. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, she, that's probably good. Uh, so she goes. All right, and then. Um, the Xanathar clan. Uh, we've we've got some rumblings here that they're not exactly happy of what went down. Right. Uh, in the dungeon. Yeah, we heard well, that too. They don't they don't have a foothold in the first three levels, or let's just say the first four levels. Now that's probably not toward their interests. So, but, yes. but it, it's 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 in the interest of Waterdeep, though, right? Yeah, we just don't want them too stirred up. You know what okay. I'm saying? Because then they'll start looking at operations up here. Didn't, uh, didn't we make a fragile peace with them after they had me falsely arrested? Yes. That was a different group. Oh. That was that was in Tarim, not Xanathar. Oh, okay. got it. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Similar spelling, but not quite. Yeah, I think we I think we wouldn't kill the bugbears, so we're on their we're on their shit list. Right. Yeah, we hobgoblins. might have done something worse after yeah, that. Yeah, they wanted the hobgoblins gone on level three. That bugbears. Hobgoblins, sorry, I always say bugbears. You always say bugbears. Hobgoblins. <laughs> kind of funny. So I mean <laughs> us telling her that's okay too. They, I mean that they they told us yeah. we had to kill the hobgoblins and we just chose not to and we killed the other folks that they like. And that's that's what got us on the SOL list. Okay. Um, so it's you know she keeps talking and you're talking to her. Um, roll me, uh, roll me an insight. Everybody can roll me an insight here. And Griff, I've shared the portals by level notes. I, uh, not a whole, not a lot in there, but I want to add more to it. I just, I think I'm right so far. But oh, there's okay. only. Uh, uh, Lear, do you? Can you throw a dice? Do you want to throw a dice? I don't know or, if you can do that. I, did, I did already. No, I meant like an added. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything I'm proficient in? Yes. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Seven more. Okay. All right, Lear. Uh, you figure it out because everybody else. Didn't roll great. Alright, I'll go and um, off the sonic die then. Yep. So everything about uh the black staff, based on what you've met her a couple times, this is everything is 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 right on. Right? This is her. The only thing that's off is the staff. Oh, I, we think that this might not be the black staff. Then you you don't know that. You know that everything about her is 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 good after you're talking with her and everything. You just happen to be like Lear is the only one who picks up on this. Is like that's not the black staff. That's not her normal staff. So as we're talking, could I stand up and move around a little bit, you think? Yeah. And yeah. then yeah. and then Good. as I'm doing that, I would tell the group t telepathically, 
why I'm doing that because I don't. I suspect. Hold on. Double and check. she's she's like right here. Um, you know, just kind of talking and standing. But everything, everything about her is the same. Um. And then I would tell Perrin to talk to Lep telepathically tell Sheila to stand guard there. I can't t tell her that, but you you can. And then sure. I think we ought to confront this thing. And then I don't know how we can tell Darabeth too, but Darabeth's right there at the end. Yoslin's there. Well, I can I can relay everything you said silently. Uh, maybe tell Yoslin to get up and leave, and go back to his alchemy. Or... So I'm gonna telepath telepathically tell Yoslin to leave and take Devlin with him, or find some excuse. Yeah, so so Yoslin's sitting there, right? He's just kind of like sitting there, kind of like writing stuff out. And he, all of a sudden, he just like jerks, and he like looks at directly at you, Perrin, and goes, "What?" Why? <laughs> I'll just put my hand on his not... shoulder. You're, you're okay. You're okay. Just huh? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Go back to your notes. Okay. And he just starts kind of... Uh, he probably wasn't even listening to anything. Honestly. He was just probably just kind of looking at notes and stuff like that. Devlin, by the way, is like all eyes and ears. You know, he's like, oh my god, you did this. And oh my god, you almost died. and Like, he's just like all into it, right? Darabeth's just sitting there listening. Um, you know, Flard's making sandwiches and drinks for everybody. Yeah. Some some, I'm, I'm gonna stand uh, up. Hey, Flard, got any uh, alcohol back there? Just to get a little bit closer, I guess, over here. Yeah. So, um, the black staff, uh, she's kind of noticing all of this, and and she kind of like nods and she goes, "You're wondering if I'm the black staff." What do you well, mean? Why would Actually, you think you're not the black staff? I I am and I'm not. You want to explain that? Uh, you ever hear of a clone or a simulacrum? Maybe. Have we? Nick has. <laughs> yeah, Nick has. <laughs> Brian has too. Uh, <laughs> yes. Anybody who's proficient in Arcana can roll. And I think that's just well, Darabath would know. Not I it. Can, yeah, can no. roll two. I can't even Let's roll see. a zero. Pistolette, you rolled a twenty-eight. I think you know <laughs> what a simulacrum is. Probably knows, yeah, I do. Probably knows yeah. the simulacrum war too. <laughs> yeah, right. You know how it came about and how the spell was fashioned and everything else. In fact, this is this is like a, a study piece for you. So you know that uh, it is a perfect clone of the caster. It's uh, made out of uh, usually just like ice and snow and stuff like that. Uh, it completely acts like the owner. Um, it can cast spells. Um, but uh, Pistolet knows that higher level wizards um, do this so they can potentially be in two places at once, if you will. So, um, and, and they're not real, they're not alive, although they act just like a normal human or whatever, humanoid. Um, and she, she'd also know what level spell it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's the indicator there. <laughs> I think that's like a level eight, right? Yeah. It's, it's a seven invocation. Seven? It's a seven? seven? Yeah. yeah. So it's a high level spell, right? Like... This isn't a, a joke spell. Right. Um, and that tells us what that tells us what the black staff really is at that point. Yeah. Um, and she goes. So 
that's what I am. Uh, that's why I don't have the real black staff. Uh, okay. um, and uh, she takes out like a, a, a dagger and she slices her hand. And really all that comes out is like some little bit of like ice. Like it's really oh, weird. Creepy. Yeah. Um, so she goes, so I was sent here by the real black staff as she can't be here at this time. Understood. Okay. That that explains quite a bit now. Yeah. Uh, and then <clears throat> Yoslin just goes, what's going on? What? Dispel. Who? Her. What are we dispelling? No. No, no. And I would motion to Sheila that everything's okay. Yeah. Just like... Okay. You can go back to your notes, buddy. Okay. Pay attention or don't. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, guys. All right. So, um... So, uh, the quote-unquote Blackstaff, um, she goes, well, thank you for telling... Uh, everything um, and uh, be wary as you get uh, further and further in the dungeon as you know you've already lost some party members and, and for the first time you actually see like some measure of I don't even know humility mm. or, or like concern well, I empathy feelings, huh? she probably, she's probably so used to sending adventures down there that do nothing so, right. And Remember, no one else got past like level two or something. Yeah. Right. 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 Um, so she's like, "You're doing a great service for the city, uh, and just you know, be careful, be wary." Uh, it sounds like you have a good. Uh, don't really trust anybody. Um, and she looks at Darabeth. Uh, so, says, do we want to tell her about the traveler that's bothering us on, in Waterdeep? I don't think the traveler was right. We saw him in the. Dungeon. Well, he was spot. He was spying on us. No, it's a different guy. It's a different. Yeah, the, oh, the traveler really? was in the dungeon. Okay, I was. Oh, yeah, I was thinking the other guy. Okay, I'm who, sorry. Who got past like yeah, everybody? Like Durnan and everyone. He wrote his name yeah. on the board. That's right. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Different. Yeah, but do the, do we want to tell him? Tell her about the other thing that was watching us here? Yeah. That way. They might be able to do something at this level while we're gone. You know, that's true. I don't know. Uh, she says, uh, "Well, uh, yeah, I guess we can put a couple extra guards out." Um, I don't know if. So we know. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. We know that the Zantarum said that it's somebody very powerful. It was not them, and they didn't believe it was the Xanathar. Is, is that correct? Yeah, my my understanding was is I think the Xanath the the Zentarum do know who it is, but it's someone they don't fuck with, and they won't right. tell us who it is. Like they, but they said it, they it. said it wasn't them, and it wasn't Xanathar. Yes. Yeah. That, okay. Yep. But if they're afraid of this guy, then you know he's got to be uh he's got to be someone special. It's like well, there's a lot of powerful people here. Okay. Um, is the biggest city yeah. Um, yeah right and yeah. and we got we got their interest already so you have a third party here that's interested in it and we're we're aware so we were letting you will be aware i would think if this person's powerful enough they'll make themselves known eventually that they have been harmed anybody have they have they attacked or not that i'm aware of i mean i caught i caught a glimpse of him once and yeah. track tracked him very short period and he got away, of course, but... Um, uh, are you sure it's a he? Oh, no, no. I said he in general. Sorry. Oh, okay. okay. In it. Okay. Yeah, um, well, I would think if it's somebody <clears throat> powerful and not attacked you already, because she looks back kind of at Sheila. You don't... I mean, you had a couple guards, but let's be honest. Yeah, but it's just for a homestead that has nothing in it. So, I mean, you know. I think she, she looks at, like, Yoslin, Darabeth, Devlin. Uh, she kind of looks at some of the furniture and stuff. She goes, yeah, there's nothing in it. No, I meant, like, worthy of, like, magic items 
interest of the dungeon, anything like that. There's nothing of that here. Yeah. Well, there's there's four adventurers that delve into the dungeon. I'm going to assume that people think you're bringing up treasure galore. Yeah. From the dungeon. Especially if you're getting to like level five, people are going to think you're bringing up magic items left and right, and money. Yeah, that's Very probably good. a good thought. They'd be wrong. Be though. Nice if it was true. <laughs> what do you mean? You got a you got a a, a pipe of smoking monsters. That that was awesome. Did Pistolette's we? got that. Yeah, Pistolette got it. So one cool. day you missed, Nick. Uh, so, are you saying that we ought to beef up our guards well, we and make make monsters. them think it's true? Um, I'm just saying that you just be careful. As you get more and more known, uh, people will target this place. Great. You have a base of operations. The base is guarded by two guards. And uh, a, a, a gnome that makes potions that are very scarce. God damn it! Well, you said you, you do have a, a magic over. user here, and she looks at Darabeth that can probably handle herself pretty well. So you do have that going for you. And you know, Devlin's coming along. The kid can poke someone with the pointy end. Hell yeah! I could, I could, I could stab on somebody right in the gut, or annoy them, but that, or that. I don't Ooh. know any defensive maneuvers, so if they slash at me, I'm dead probably. <laughs> that comes next. Yeah. Get you some armor. Yeah. So just, just be wary. I'm just saying. I appreciate that. Uh, you, I hate to say you're the only, the last hope of water, dude, because there's always usually somebody that will save the day, but right now we're sca pretty scarce. That last group we thought would, would be a good backup for you, and looks like they got their ass kicked pretty well. Yep. Well, they only lost one, but still. Two. Oh. It's two? Yeah. They lost the barbarian in the fight with the driders oh, right. initially. Barbarian. Yeah. Forgot about that. Oh, forgot about that one. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, she says, well, I, I won't take up any more of your time. Thanks for um, kind of coming clean with everything. Um, and uh, good luck. Um, and she uh, she kind of heads out. Okay, bye. See you, Carol. Good to see you. Thanks for bringing yeah. presents. Yeah. <laughs> brought some snow. There it is. It's melted on the floor. You brought some information. Flart. Wipe that shit up. No. <laughs> Made a mess. Anyway. Made a mess. Okay. Uh, so, 4.30-ish. Anything you want to do, Pistolette? I don't know if there's any spells you want to... Yeah, a couple. Uh, low levels. Okay. I need about uh, six hours and 150 gold, so okay. plenty of time. So, yeah, you've got the six hours. If you want to subtract 150 gold, go ahead. Well, do. <clears throat> okay. All right. Anything else you want to do? Uh, time. Remember, there is a... <laughs> What's that? I said time. Never mind. Um, there is a curfew, um, but you're not there yet, but... Um, but as we understand, the curfew doesn't matter anymore anyway, because the shadows come out during the day. Yeah, but they are really come out. The, the freaks come out at night. Let's just say that. Yeah. You know, they really come out at night. So, um, really, the guards, uh, if when they're patrolling, uh, it's usually with a priest um, and well lit, like torches all over the place, right? Um you know, it's a great, great time for a rogue to be out because there's not a lot of people, not a lot of guards because you got to have a priest with you. So, um, but, you know, it's 
it's getting cl it's also really it's like winter so it's pretty cold too so there's that all right um so quick question for you does water defa yeah. bank like if there's a freaking bank should we maybe we should just go make a deposit so we're not like having you know what i mean it absolutely has a bank now does the bank pay interest is there safety deposit boxes um I mean you you want to take out a CD too or what like what <laughs> Oh what's a little mar right? money market what, fund what or yeah, what yeah, what 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 we, we need <laughs> think a retirement all we need that 401k going yeah, right now Yeah okay, you want a pension what do you what do you want what are you looking for I mean we need taxes <laughs> Yeah what do you want can we, can we well, yeah, account? Uh, <laughs> I mean, we're being, you know, we're being, you know, we're being told that our house is like, you know, not necessarily secure a place to keep our wealth. So maybe there's like places where we could keep our wealth safely. I could tell you that the, um, cause didn't, uh, the last group come through here and like changed a bunch of, it was somewhere. I don't know if it was in Waterdeep now that I think about it, it was somewhere else, but yes, there is the bank of Waterdeep. It is heavily fortified. There's anti magic all throughout that place. Uh, it is it is a guard keep where you know nobles and everything uh, keep their their wealth and and everything else. Yes, there's not. Is he, I'm just thinking that the reality is we don't really have too much to spend our money on, and as we acquire more and more, we might want to think about going to the bank. Right, and us carrying it around is not the best idea either. That's true. Yeah. And also it's, that it's, that would that would then then give Florida the ability to take out so much per week or whatever to make sure the house is maintained. Well, there's some leaks in the roof that have come up, but I haven't said anything. You know, there's a, this nice little uh, end table that I'd like to get. <laughs> All right. You know, get a little couple suites for the for the guards. Man. You know, now that we have more people here with Devlin, he eats like a he eats like eighty five sandwiches a day. We got Darabeth, um, uh, yep. also. What uh, what do you what do you need? Can I suggest a tab at the local bar? Right. <laughs> and pile it on. Uh, four four yeah. weeks of yearly vacation. Uh so we're what? Today's the. <laughs> ninth uh what is it no the 15th so the 18th i think is when everything is due hang on i gotta go through my oh, notes yay. i mean like i had like i'm just going through it like i have like i have like 600 gold worth of gems alone on me so like i i mean i'm just you now i've yeah. if uh perrin got lost like like later almost did and we lost out on like you know a thousand gold oh, treasure and like like your friend you know what i mean like i just yeah, he had a bunch of stuff <laughs> like, on him that you, you didn't. Yeah, that's a good point. Like if we can put all our names in a deposit box and put like some like I've got three diamonds. I don't need to carry them. For, you know, I'm not a I'm not a wizard or cleric that consumes so many spells. I mean, if this lot wants diamonds, I'm right. happy to give them to her. Well, I'll when, need like, those. I'm in carrying a, them in a couple levels. I'll need those. Yeah, right. Yeah, but I mean, I'd rather right. not just you're right carry we, them with I mean, me. We don't, we don't have need to carry to, right? them until then. Right. Right. And I mean, I would want to carry a little bit of gold and silver and that kind of thing, but not much more. The yeah, record. like I've got like a thousand gold with a treasure on me, and I just think that's, you know, I don't know if I would like that. <laughs> right. So there's a few things due on the 18th. There's the Employment Guild that's due. Uh, that's five gold pieces for a month. Uh, you have the Waste Management. They give two gold pieces a 10-day. Uh, for waste management, uh, but you do the next fee for the two gold for a 10 day is due on the 18th. Um, you've paid everybody for the month already, so Mel, um, the stu uh, Flard guards, and the alchemist has been paid, and you gave 150 gold pieces last time up for the healing potions. All right, so right now we got Sheila and Shernan at two gold a 10-day. Yes. Do we want to 
raise them up and get some more? Or because right now we're at 58 gold for a month for everything. I just put now I just added it to, on in the note that it's on the 18th of each month. So I'm assuming we'll just that way we do it all on the 18th to make it easier. Well, you you paid the guards, the steward, the alchemist, and Mel at the beginning of the month already. So right. they're good through the the rest of the month. Okay. If you want to just get through this month, it would just be a. I don't know. Yeah. I, I would say yeah. two gold pieces for the waste management. I'll tell that just takes you to the thirtieth. Okay. Um, and then the employment guild, which was five gold, you could pay at the beginning of the month as well. I'm not gonna. Yeah, that's. I was just. I was just saying. With what we could do is just pay the monthly fee, and then we'd be good until the 18th of the next month. That's what. Yeah. I'm, that's what yeah. I was kind of getting at. Yeah, you could. Uh, or you could just pay everything at the beginning of the month and just make it easier, right? I, I won't. Yeah, I won't worry great. about. You know, I'll add an extra two gold for the waste management fee at okay. the beginning of the month. Uh, okay. Uh, and then I don't know if you want to pay Darabeth anything. She's not really looking. I mean, she's getting free room and board for the most part and food. Yeah, I mean, she uh, could save oh. Devlin. I mean, if she wants to stick around, we'll we'll pay her a wage to just kind of, you know, help her I don't out. think she's going anywhere anytime soon based on her last conversation. She no, but so everything. at this point, we got she she is she can contribute. So at this point, whatever she can contribute, even if it's helping Devlin and or the guards, then we'll definitely pay her. Okay. Um, I don't know what that would be, but, you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I will, uh, we don't have to pay it now because we still got a half a month away. So okay. I will get everything tallied up and say, hey, on the first of whatever the hell the next month is. I don't even know what it is, actually, what it is. Um, this is what you'll owe. This is going to be for food for the for the month, for the five or six people that are there um, and all that stuff. So I'll have that ready for you to go. You know, I mean, we don't have to worry about that for another five, ten sessions, probably, if not more. So. What's going on with the babysitter? <laughs> so your background, Karen? She was, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. really? You can hear that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, a babysitter. Oh it's, oh, it's TV. T I have, I have like ear over headphones on, so I can't hear anything except you guys. But so, that's yeah, hard. just remind me, and I'll turn off oh. the mic. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So, uh, anything to do today? Did we want to get more guards, or do we think this is okay for right now? Um, can we put Florida on that? Like, we don't to hire... have to, like, go into town or anything, right? No, no, no. I was thinking, yeah, Florida might be... That's just what I'm saying. If Florida could hire two more guards, maybe. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Okay. You want two more guards? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just said that, but I'm not sure. Do you want them... Uh... I mean, how, what are we looking at? Are we looking at stronger guards? So, a guard is like a first level adventurer. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see. <laughs> uh, just looking at Sheila and Shuren, uh, they're they could, you know, I guess Sheila would be a little bit beefier. Um, she's a little bit bigger. She might be like a second level adventurer. Okay. Sharon, eh, probably first. <laughs> Even though he looks cool. But yeah, he's okay. like, if, if you want better guards, you, we could do that. I'll just, I would have to let you know the price on that. Right. Do, yeah. do we want to have Durnan? Ask Durnan? Yeah. For adventures that don't want to go down, but want to... 
I don't know. All right, some, someone we can trust, too. Obviously, we don't want to pay someone right. to come in here. And well, then they well that's kind of why I said go to Dernan rather than just go into the awning portal say, who wants a job, you know? Right, right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It, what, I don't know if that's smart or not. But I just so Darabeth can handle herself. She's probably got up to fifth level spells. Yeah. Um, you know Mel can handle himself, but he's yeah, but he's rarely here. Shit, he's rarely around. Right. So Dar Darabeth could interview for the the not for the the guard maybe. beefing up the guard that kind of thing maybe yeah. If, I mean, she's if, intelligent if, enough that she could figure out, you know, not what level they are, but what they can do, what their c capabilities are, that kind of thing, maybe. She's like, well, it's it's been a long time. Uh, I haven't necessarily interacted with a lot of people, you know, for like a that's decade. Fair. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, that's true. Yeah. So I don't know if I'd be the best judge of character. I, for God's sakes, I was uh, a friend with a frog that was a demon. Well, I mean, I think with Flard and Sheila helping out, you might be able to have like a little committee to help pick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that might that might work out. Yeah. yeah. We we value your input at the very least. Sure. Oh yeah, she'll she'll agree to it. Uh, Devlin will go. Well, what about me? Yeah, well, we're training you up. You're gonna be, you'll you'll be one of our guards, and you know, obviously, you can handle yourself, but. I've been talking to Darabeth. I might, I might see if I can cast spells. Well, you know, go for it. That would be amazing, right? Whatever you want to do, kid. Yeah, I could be a battle mage. Hell yeah. Yeah. Proud of you, kid. You haven't seen my uncle anywhere, have you? Nope. Okay, no, but we don't generally go back. Uh, we haven't been to Skullport since. Oh. Okay. Right. I think that's true. That's true. We have not, yeah. That's, that is a true statement. Okay. I've, <laughs> it made me worried like the shit that we kill us. And, and we honestly, <laughs> I, can't rem I can't remember, did we actually send the the letter to his no, uncle? Oh, hell no. I think I oh. took the letter, but I had no intention of ever delivering it to the uncle. Okay, well, that's fine. I don't, I mean, I don't care. I was just curious. No, the uncle's bad news. I imagine the uncle would want him back if, like, he realized we took him. It'd probably be a very bad thing. When did this kid turn eight? Uh, when did he become an adult? He's 13. Yeah. Like, oh, probably. that's going to be a while, yeah. That's so, yeah. Well, he's just hanging out here. You know, we're not, we didn't kidnap him or nothing. He can leave when he wants. Yeah, he can just go right on the street. Yeah, if he wants. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Go back you can go lunch. home. Yeah. And actually, doesn't the uh, Lord Protector know that he's here now? Yep. Didn't we? Yes. I yeah, I thought, okay. Yep. They insinuated it was... Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Trafficking as well, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, what? <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, all right. So, if you don't want to do anything else today... Day, I will give you a long rest. Um, and, and, and Lear, I believe the portal on level one takes us to level ten. Muriel's Gauntlet. Oh, thank you. Updating. Okay, uh, so you guys get through the night. There is no shadows that attack you or anything like that. There's no... Uh, nobody jumps into the into the house or anything like that. Uh, everything is, is pretty good. Um, you know, normal night, cold, but, you know, well lit. Uh, Flard does a, a, a decent job of keeping stuff going, even during the night. Uh, the next morning comes around. Uh, it is, hang on, let me do that. Uh, what did I just do? Okay, yeah, so this is the 10th of Oktar. It wasn't the 15th, sorry. Okay, close this enough. Is the 10th day, so yeah, so we you've got 20 days um, left for the first of the month. So, uh, so it's a new day. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, Yaslin, so does Yaslin stay with you, or does he go home? 
I don't remember. I thought you initially he was going home, but we offered for him. So. To, we I think yeah. we offered for him to stay here initially, and he said no or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, so he does go home during the night or like four or five o'clock. Um, but he gets there when the curfew lifts, which is um, it nine o'clock, eight o'clock. I gotta write that down. Uh, eight or nine o'clock, and then it's to like seven a uh, six seven a.m. Um, when it's dark out. So uh, he gets there around 8. He says he'd have the potions ready before he goes home. Uh, he'll have two ready. Uh, and nice. then you're looking at another probably two to three days for the other three. Uh, it might be longer just because it's these are, these are a lot better potions, he says. Excellent. So, what do you want to do on this fine tenth day of Uktar? So Sounds at the great. end of so at the end of tonight, we'll get the two potions. Yes, uh, before he leaves, so he thinks right around four or five. Okay. Um, I don't think we have anything to do today, do we? Just to the bank. All right, we want to go to the bank. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, eventually, whenever we think it's worth like not carrying all the stuff on us, like. No, I think it's valid now. I mean, I think we're you're right. We need to do that, and then that'll also give uh, Pistolette time to study and do her thing to, to write in the book. Yeah. But she did that last night. I mean, it was yeah, only she six did hours last night. Anything you want to do today, Pistolette? As long as that, as far as that goes. You can use another day. Oh, yeah, I did some last night. <laughs> uh, what do I want to do today? No, not really. I don't have okay. any. Okay. And the rest will depend. So. This isn't Nick, so it's not like you know, you're going to find other things. Uh, okay. Although, I guess, I don't know. She could do whatever she wants, I guess. Well, she can uh, only get whatever's. She can scribe from other spell books, right? So, oh, not this thing else. I was thinking of something else. Anyway, okay. Uh, cool. So, you're going to go to the bank. Bank. Yeah, let's go to the bank. All right. All for you? Yeah. All right. All right. So, you head off to the bank. Um, y you. Instantly, when you go there, you um, see some guards outside. They they look pretty pretty beefy. Um, and as soon as you walk through the door, whatever magical item you have stops. Like it just doesn't work. Like pistolet, you just feel like the magic drain out of you. Uh, Griff, you lose like a connection. To, to Helm and Ooh. this other being. Um, Perrin, uh, you lose your connection in nature um, and you know, you're just sitting there and you can't even think of a spell to cast. Like You're like, I can't. I know I could cast spells, but I don't know what I could cast. That's cool. And Lear, uh, you know that you're like, I... My boots squeak now. Yeah, your boots squeak, and <laughs> you're... You can no longer... You were able to throw something yep. that you were able to conjure up, but you can't remember exactly what it was. Was it a, a spoon? That doesn't yep. seem right. So a you get this like kind of confusion, almost. Mm -hmm. but, but it doesn't impair your normal thoughts. Only when you kind of center around magic. It's really odd. Um, and uh, there's a guard that's inside the door, and he goes, first time here? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. A little disoriented. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, well, uh, are you here to open up an account, or what are you, what are you yeah. trying to rob the place? Yes. Please. No, not at all. Come on. The first no? one. No? Yeah. Oh. Open an account. Okay. You sure you don't want to rob it? I haven't had. I've I've worked here for five years. I mean, I've never even had to draw my sword. 
That's a good news. I mean, That's if I can get away here. with it, sure, but I'm pretty sure we get our ass kicked here. Uh, well, you never know. I, I'm hoping <laughs> one day somebody tries. <laughs> no, it's not going to be us. It's not going to be okay. today. Well, then you want to go see uh, uh, Sid over there. All right. Sid, all right. Thank we you. Head, head, head towards Sid. Thank all you. All right. So Sid is um, a uh, tiefling. Um, he's blue, actually, a blue tiefling. Um, orange eyes, uh, curling horns that go all the way to the back of his head, uh, brown hair. Uh, and he goes, uh, and he kind of looks you over, right? And he just goes, here to open or withdraw? Open. open. Okay. Is it uh, going to be in your four names? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Sorry. Yep. Would, would it? Would we allow? Would you allow our servant to make withdrawals to maintain the house, or does his name have to be on it too? And he looks. He looks around. Our steward. And he, and he, and he looks around. And he kind of goes, "Was he invisible?" No. <laughs> that's no. Good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not yeah. here, right? Yeah. Uh, he needs to be here and present. Okay, okay, then disregard. Can we add Nobody. him later? Yeah. Yeah, okay. you have to bring him by. Okay. Right, okay. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and um, so he, you see him take out, like, this this book, and he says, write your names uh, here, 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 and he kind of puts some X's, uh, and print leg legibly, please. Okay. Okay. I'll write my so name. So you do that. Me. Right. And then he takes out, like, this other, like, pad almost it's like a clear slate and he says put your hand on that um mm. while touching your name wow interesting i love it already start cool. yeah. yeah i'll do it okay uh and as as you do that you see that your hand starts glowing and your name um and uh he says uh so, um, what that is, is that not only do we have, like, your handprint, but if somebody cuts off your hand, the name will know that, hey, that's not, that's not connected to a person. Or if a person takes your hand and attaches them to somehow, their other hand or finger would have to have your hand too. And he says, smile. And he holds up a, a parchment um, in front of, uh, say, he's going to start with you, Perrin. He holds up a parchment in front and he says, smile and look at the parchment. Okay. Okay. Lear, Lear has to make a joke about Perrin's hand when he goes to do the handprint. Oh, that's right! Because you've got the 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 <laughs> skeletal, skeletal hand. hand. I, I forgot yeah. myself. Here. Oh yeah. So hang on, <laughs> hang on. Oh no. So <laughs> he goes, "Whoa, whoa!" Thanks for the reminder. He goes, "Whoa, what the fuck is this? That's mean? not magical. I, uh, that's not magical. No, it's not." No, your hands are a... actually bone. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I uh, I'm happy to give you a footprint if uh, if that's easier. He he's like, he looks baffled. He goes, uh You know anybody that can fix it for him? <laughs> yeah. Um Hang on. I got to go get my manager. <laughs> So right, I just thought back. that was funny, sorry. No, no, no. Thank you for the That's reminder. Funny. Thanks for the reminder on that. Um, so he comes back, and you see this uh, this halfling come out, female. And she's she she comes out, uh, and looks over the counter. She gets up like on a, like a step stool thing. And she's like, throw your hands up here. And like, you know, Perrin... I assume you're going to put your hands kind of up on the counter, right? Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. 
So she starts t- like touching your hands, and she's like, "That's really fucking bone." Yes, uh, that uh, I, I think it's maybe maybe a curse or something. Um, are you a lich? Happened... No, no, you, it happened. You fall apart. Happened in the happened in one of the levels of the uh, set in the dungeon south of the yawning portal. Just uh, I think it's a curse. Wow. Um. Yeah. So she goes, well, let's let's try it. Let's see what happens. So, Perrin, you put put your uh, hand on this, like, rock slate, and you point to your name, and there's no glow. <clears throat> She's like, I, it, that's not going to work. Hey, uh, offer, offer, offer to use my foot. How about, can I try my foot? Well... You know, we've we've got some people that have been amputees. Um, and yeah, we could do feet. Um, so... And if we ever get the curse removed, can he update his account maybe with one of us with him or something? Yeah, yeah, we could do that. We could do that if, if you get like... You know, we've had people get their hands cut off and then somehow get them back. I don't know how that shit works, but... Yeah, we've we've updated it. So she's like, "Yeah, let's try your feet." Uh, Perrin, roll me a. Um... Good thing we just took showers. Right. Dexterity. <laughs> no, roll me. Um... <laughs> performance. Oh shit, that's not good. Yeah, roll me performance. Into the tower. Slight of foot. Yeah. <laughs> how well he wiggles his toes yeah so this I mean it's kind of weird right because you're standing now you have to stand on this slate and then there's this book that you have to t- you know point your big toe towards so it's a little weird um, but you, you do a hell of a job with it parent um, you know you're very dex- dexterous and everything else so it uh, you, you perform it without a hitch it does glow um, nice. And you see them like taking the slate and they start like wiping it off and spray painting it, or not spray painting it, but spraying it down with uh, with something. So, is the uh, female halfling grossed out or is she impressed? Okay, that is not. What is that? that is She's not... eyeballing your feet. She likes it. Like something like club foot. What? The hair on it. That's an <laughs> arm, isn't it? Those That's tufts arm. of hair. <laughs> the heck uh, yeah I don't want, I don't know what that that's is just weird, man. that's getting erased is that a wart? okay okay <laughs> so uh so anyway so with this portrait um uh, it's your face that just automatically appears on this piece of paper I mean exact detail if if you know you got a little mole or something it's uh, and they kind of roll that up, um, and then uh, they hold out like this. And this is for everyone, so this isn't just for parent, but everybody's got like their face now on this portrait. And uh, he brings out like a conch shell, a little conch shell, and he goes, "I need you to speak these words: speak your name, date of birth, and uh, something only you would know." And you can whisper in, into it so nobody else hears. So you don't have to. I might ask for that later, but uh, okay. as to what you actually said, but we don't have to do that for right now. Um, so everybody passes that around. Um, so he's, he's like, we take security very seriously here. Um, we've only been robbed uh, or swindled like twice in the last 10 years. Oh. So. How'd they do it? She looks at you. <laughs> that was good. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like any foot can open an account here. Yeah. Any, <laughs> just any old foot. Uh, and then she goes, so uh, there is a 10 gold deposit that you have to have. Uh, to open up an account, I assume you have ten gold. Yep. Yeah. Okay. How much are you depositing today? Uh, 
I mean, at, at this point, we would probably start taking out the things that we want to do to put in there. Does that sound right? Like, are we? How do we? How do we track this? Like, you would want to create a note that, that tracks this, or yes. Yep. Okay. So, as a starting point, I would put in 150 Electrum and 50 Platinum. Alright, so is this going to get all put together, or do you want it separate? I say we put it all together. Yeah, I'm indifferent. So. so says the rogue that can come out and just make a withdrawal on everything. Well, I mean, <laughs> to, to be honest, the rogue almost died, so if you want... My right, stuff right. after later, you're gonna need to have access to it. So. Well, you all have access to it. Right, it's a joint right. account uh, anyway, right? Yeah, it's a joint account. Oh, you well. just mean for the list for the listing purposes, like where the balances are. Oh, I don't care about that part. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't yeah. matter to me there. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm always I'm always for sharing. So mm. yeah, I'm fine either way. Okay. Does anybody so want individual accounts? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep it all together. Okay. So I that makes it 150 easy. Electrum, Whatever. 50 Platinum. Do we want to just put... Oh, we can't put it in the party sheet. We can't put gold in the party sheet. That's right. Oh. So 150 and Electrum. The, Sorry, parent. Go ahead. So 150, yeah, 150 Electrum, 50 Platinum. And then uh, I think I would put the diamonds there as well. I mean, there's 300 gold with the diamonds that I'm carrying around. Uh, I think somebody needs that in case you die. Oh, we can hold on to them for, like, if someone else, well, that would only be within a minute, and we don't have anyone with us, right? Right. Oh. So yeah, we, we can't, can't do that. We can yet. put them in the yeah. bank till I get the spell, and then we can take them out. All right, so three diamonds, 100 gold pieces each. Yep. Okay. Mm. I'd like to make a withdrawal, please. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, I, also, I have a black pearl that's worth 150 as well. Okay. I was thinking. And I the rest of me to have to my gems because they don't weigh much. Yep. Yeah, uh, I'm personally going to hold on to all my gems as well, but I only have. I don't keep them in my coin pouch, so. I'm again. Yeah, I'm just more worried about getting. Yeah, Pilgrim. Oh, right? Right, getting yoinked. Yeah. I keep forgetting that. So. Like, you know, I, I mean... Yeah, I guess you're right. Yep, you're right. Okay. Well, Griff, like, I'm still going to carry around, like, 300 or 400, <laughs> 300, 400 gold worth of stuff, Can't but die. that's it. What? Yeah. What was that, Alec? I said, for Griff, death is not an option. Right. Nope. <laughs> okay, so 150 Electrum, 50 Platinum, 3 Diamonds worth 100 gold pieces each, and a Black Pearl worth 150 gold pieces. Yeah. Should I just right. remove them from my inventory, or should I like mark yes. them like bank or something? Remove right. it from your inventory. All right. So Lear's going to give up fifty platinum. Okay. One hundred and fifty gold. Okay. And one hundred and fifty electrum. And one blue jasper. Worth fifty gold. Would it be I worth think... putting the stuff in the party sheet and then assigning it to the bank? Like we the do the house, Kazen's room. That way you know you got it for sure. It's up to you. But... I, I, I just... will probably put it in the notes. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, look, guys, I'm double you know, checking. I was just wondering if it was easier one way or the other. Making sure I don't have don't any other gemstones. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract the 50 platinum. Yep. 150 gold. And then 150 Electrum. Okay. And then I'm deleting the Blue Jasper. Okay. All right. Griff. All right. Let's see. I have uh, seven gemstones okay. worth 100 gold each. Okay. 100 gold each. Okay. Uh. That's all I have for gems, and then I will put a hundred platinum. Okay. Uh, 
a hundred gold. And okay. fifty electrum. Okay. And that's it for me. So, so as you as you're bringing this stuff out, you know, you, this Perrin, you started right. She, she goes, wait a second, wait a second, and she kind of looks around. She's like, we need to take this off the floor. Here, we got this back room. We'll go to a side room and discuss See? this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, he, he's like, oh, 50 platinum. People were like, what? You know, they like kind of turn their, you know, as soon as you kind of start talking. Yeah, you got, you got some people out there that probably never really even seen a platinum for the most part. Like, what are they doing and you're just the like, Well, I mean, you Keeping know, you can still deposit. Well, yeah. you can deposit five gold pieces. I mean, you thought, know, yeah, you yeah, save I enough. thought it was the ten minimum. Well, that's to open up an account. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sir, yeah, maybe we should be going. We should go to the the bank and the the swanky part of town then. Uh, well, this is the swanky bank. Yeah, this is yeah. This is the bank. They have, they have a, a monopoly, if you will. Haha. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, monopoly. All right. So fifty electrum. Yeah, that's he's there. All right, and uh, pistolette. Anything you would like to contribute? <laughs> My jaw is dropped on the floor. I have like eight <laughs> red crystal worth five gold each. Sorry. I'm like, and I see these hundred gold pieces jam flying out of their freaking pockets. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck, man? What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> That's no, it. Like, That's what? What I so she's looking at these crystals and she's like, uh, <laughs> sure. Eight crystals worth five gold pieces each. Yeah, eight red crystals. Eight red crystals. Okay, That's sorry. It. Five. I, I mean, I can top that. I have a bone dice. That's worth one gold piece. <laughs> She's like, That's okay. awful. I get some broken. I, I'm not in it for the money, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> You just turn money into spells. spells. <laughs> yeah, you just put all the money into spells. That's what it is. Huh. Yeah, you're you're our most valuable asset. We got to yes. keep you alive. <laughs> That's true. We've, we've invested a lot. I'm a floozy. Yeah. <laughs> you guys yeah. invested in me, and I'm a floozy. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. Well, you know, you keep well, on shooting fireballs at people. That you know. You I'll give you uh, forty platinum and about seventy-five gold. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> platinum. I we'll have uh, platinum left and 25 gold on me. Yeah, 40 not... platinum and how much gold? Sorry. 75? 75 gold. Okay. And a copper. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but sh I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're going to do one copper, she'll do it. I mean, do a copper. That's my that? luck. My That's lucky luck. copper. Do we need to give them some silver pieces so they have a little bit of everything? <laughs> I always have to come back to this copper in my, my anchor. Okay. Can, can we give her the two platinum that are stuck in the party sheet? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's two platinum in the party sheet? Yep. Yep. Good call. Inventory. Okay. Yeah. And hey, didn't I give Terza's his, her spellbook back? Who? Thurza. Yeah, you did. I did, right? No, Thurza was... No, no, Thurza, no. we killed Thurza. That's right, you Thurza, Thurza. Was the drow, that's right. Yeah. We need to... Um, you could sell that. We need to try yeah. and sell that withered, that withered heart. It's worth like 500 to 5,000 gold. Did, did, oh, do we have Nobody want to touch it. That? That's got, it's, well, that's, that's that one says someone, it's right? 50 to 100. I think that was something Mel was worth. looking into also. Was who right. would want to buy that. But then we get something for that uh, with her heart. Well, this one I could sell because it's freaking useless. All the spells in it are useless to us. Okay. All right. Yeah. What's the highest spell level in it? Uh, looking rapidly, I see four, bunch of threes, bunch of twos, bunch of ones. Uh, so a couple of five. Uh, did you say a level five? Yeah. That would be worth a hundred platinum. I think so. Hundred platinum to Hude. Oh, that's right. Yeah. If it's got a level five spell day, in it. Day. 
Well, there we yeah. go. Yeah, once you clean them out, I mean, if you don't want them anymore, that's what we ought to do is yeah. just give them the hood, hood ale, and then we'll, we'll immediately be getting gold that way, too, making money back on, on money. Yep. And Uday buys them. Is there somewhere in town that sells scrolls? Uh, not really. No, okay. No, ventures of... Yeah. yeah. There's a fifth to four. Everything else is three or lower. So, yeah, I got that. That thing's useless. Then. Okay, yeah, that's worth it. I gotta Whatever's look at that. It, I Why is it useless? Hang on, I gotta look at that. Whatever's good in it, I already have. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, she's already she's already written everything she needs out of okay. it. Yeah. Once she yeah. does that, it's useless to us. It's not yeah. useless. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I thought you still have those. I'm uh, not gonna get the web or stuff like that. It's not gonna happen. Why not? La Cloud Kill, I have in another uh, spell book. Ever Black Stink Pickle, I have in another spell book. Greater Invisibility, I already have it. Lightning Bolt, I already have it. Age uh, Armor, Magic Nestle, Misty Step, I have all of those. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I it's got a, it's I mean, a good bolt? spell book, you just already have them all. Correct. Okay. Alter Self you, and Witch Bolt, that, that those is, are. Man, you've got a shit one. ton of spell books. Yeah. Yeah, I do. But what's, what's we, we killed one? a lot of mages. <laughs> yeah. yeah Ray of Sickness, Gaseous Form, Crown of Madness. That's the oh, burnt spell book. Ones. Huh. Okay. You don't want Witch Bolt? <laughs> nah. Yeah. It's a good, I, low, good low level spell. Kalabashes? What's the dude you got spell. from the? That's the dude you got from the dimension or whatever. See that one too. I mean, there's maybe cone of gold and ice storm in it. Everything yeah. else is useless. Well, used. Mohawk I got spell book. That one's. That one's interesting. It is. Contact other plane. Yeah. That's a divination spell, which is my school. Yeah, it's a ritual too. Mm. Yeah, and we get it. We get it. A, a demon friend. All right, what's his name? Who's the? Who's the demon that we? Uh, Barry, Barry the Balgura. Oh yeah, good old Barry. Right, we get a buddy we can reach out to. And see. Well, yeah. Next level, I can call him up. That's hey, Barry. Right. The fuck, man? Shit, I forgot so about Barry. That's good. I, I, that's one NPC I don't think I have. Hang on, let me look. I got so many fucking NPCs. He was fabulous, if I remember right. Yeah. <laughs> fabulous Barry. It's <laughs> awesome. Let's see. Uh, man, I, I gotta have to go back and and listen for Larry or Barry. Why do I not? That was Vajra's quest, right? The cult of the demon was trying to summon the demon and they succeeded and it was Barry. That's right. And he didn't want to fight. No. Yeah, no, he was totally cool. And we were like, okay. And he's like, oh, thanks. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Yes. 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 Thank he was, you. He was a good NPC. Yeah. He yeah. Was. Yeah. He was just he was just like, hey man, I don't I I'm not interested in, in and fighting anybody. It was like being scared of humanoids for the most part. Yep. Yes. Good. Uh, I got, that's a note. I gotta go back and listen for Barry. Okay. So short story is I've read all those space books, so I need some new tomes. Oh, okay. Yeah. No problem. Well, you know, you got I mean, an invitation to go to the mage school, so I mean... He's obliged. You know. <laughs> so... Uh, cool. You're going to Strixhaven? Oh, cool. <laughs> the School of Waterdeep. Oh. Oh. That doesn't sound like fun. Okay. Uh, she says we hold on to uh, magic weapons in the, in the like as well. Uh, oh, and she says um, there is a monthly fee. How much? 
Uh, well, um, she says, due to your deposit, we'll waive the transaction fee. Um, usually we charge for per transaction, but you've given enough uh, that you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but there is a monthly fee of, um, uh, she says, uh, doing some quick calculations here. 50 platinum, 50 platinum, that's 100 platinum, that's 1,000 gold. You got the gems, uh, you got some electrum. Uh, it is a 1% fee, so roughly you got like 1,500 gold pieces. Uh, and then you have the gems, so that's another 300, 400. Oh, 1% per month? Holy frack. I want to, like, invest in this. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, and you know what? You have to understand, we have all these magical protections. Those cost money. Yeah, it does make sense. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So um, you're not charged anything for the first month. Okay. So um, the bill is due. It will automatically be deducted from your account. Okay. Um, and if you get it under a certain level, uh, you'll be notified of a sending spell. All right. That's All right. Still, so, so the, hold on. So the trick is, the trick is on the 29th day we come, we make a huge withdrawal. So what happens if the send on the 30th day? <laughs> what happens if the sending spell fails? Can you notify our house? Uh, <laughs> do you have next of kin? No, but Florida is our steward and. Okay. Well, you'd have to bring them here, and right. Well, we intend to do that, but he's not here now. Yeah. So I turned to the guy. I turned to the party. I said, "If we're down in the dungeon, I don't know that the sending spell is going to work because you can't teleport down there." I'll ask him. Have you ever been able to do a sending spell to someone in the dungeon of the Mad Mage? Uh, and what is that? Under dark. The under mountain. Under mountain. That's it. Sorry. And where is that located? Uh, underneath Dernan's, the, the, the bar, the yawning, yawning, yawning portal. portal. The yawning portal. Is that where adventurers go to hang out? Is that in, yeah. like, uh, where's that in? Luskin? Waterdeep. It's in Waterdeep? Yeah, it's here. Yeah. Uh, there's, what? The, yeah, there's a, there's a tavern called, water, there's a tavern in Waterdeep called. Called Waterdeep? called the yawning portal okay yes and that has the entrance to under mountain in it correct what's an under mountain it's a huge dungeon dungeon where adventures go it's why we're rich okay and that's a so that's you get teleported no from the yawning portal no there's a no. there's like a there's a like literal a hole crank and a winch and like we go down but there's some type of magic <clears throat> preventing anyone from teleporting out, so we're not sure if it might also mess with your ascending magic. We were curious Sir, if you had heard We don't of use that type of language here. Cranking a wench? No, like, well, a, I mean, like a. You know, like you lower a bucket into a well type of thing, like a, a winch. Winch, not wench. A winch, <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, not a wench. Not a wench. You don't crank okay. wenches. There's well, no other things. You well, can. don't don't do that. Okay, so there's there's a dungeon under under uh, underwater deep called Under Mountain. Yes. And you're wondering what if you could send a sending spell down there? Yes. We're wondering if you know. Does it have anti magic? I don't know. No. It's not okay. anti all magic. Have um I suppose okay. I don't really know if you can teleport out or not because we've never tried. Well, we were told we can't, so Right. Okay. Uh I, you know, the I'll say this, you know, there's the the anti magic field here kind of messes with people. Um, so you might be feeling a little disoriented right now. Okay. Uh, that's understandable. Um, but 
um, you know, uh, why don't you come back and we can talk about this again later when you're Sounds a little good. bit more oriented. Okay, that's thank you. That's very thank helpful. you. Thank you for your patent. Pray, 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 pray. Uh, thanks for your business. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, great. I think we're I think we're good here. Thank you for cool. your time. Thank you. And may Joaquin bless you. Oh, and and thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um so that was uh the, the trip to the, the bank of water deep. Um Anything else you want to do on this fine, gray, uh, gray overcast, cold day in Waterdeep? Uh, not be outside. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't have anything. Okay. I need to do in town. Anybody else? Nope. Any ideas? Nope. Do we want to walk around and see if we can't find some shadows to kill? I mean, I just avoid them. So I still have two statues of Loth. I probably can't get rid of. Um, looking to see what else I have in my inventory that's just worthless. We did lose that one bullseye lantern. Do we want to get another one? Oh yeah, I have one in my inventory, but I, I mine's right. Dead. I took no, it. No, I think I think I, you lost the the one lantern, right? But you kept. The bullseye lit. No, no. So I had a bullseye lantern. Yeah. And, and Griff had a bullseye lantern. Oh, the, okay. The, the yep. one bullseye lantern, he lost it. I forget exactly how, but it was probably during the drought fight or something. Yes, I don't remember. It was. And then I gave him mine. So I, I have it in my inventory, but zeroed out. So, uh, but we have, but we have a bullseye lantern in the house too. Do we? Yep. It's in the inventory. Yeah. Okay. So why don't you go so, to that one? All right. So, okay, that's fine. I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. And then I'm checking to see if I have anything. I mean, I got a couple drow daggers. I got the silver daggers. And then... I got some broken shit. I don't know how... Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to find someone maybe that can... Uh, mending I spell? Have, I have... Yeah, I don't know. A pistol, you don't have mending, right? Nope. And that's not a spell you can, like, scribe, right? Because that's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. Hey, look at that. I have mending. Oh, you do? I do. Uh, huh. I have two pieces. Oh, didn't I take it for a a six-inch tall statuette. You, you don't have mending, do you? Oh, this is black shell touch mending. Go the dead. Oh. Oh. All right. So uh, I know I, we needed it for something, and I took it for a reason. But anyway, you need it yeah. for parents' arrows, something. Oh, yeah, that's probably it. I mean, yeah, I have yeah. I have a woodcarver's tool kit too. That as long as I have wood, I can make arrows. But that's a pain in the ass every evening, you know, carving arrows. Well, yeah, you need like the metal tips and everything. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird yep. metal. Uh, so Perrin, you get three fourths of your arrows now back with mending. Mending. Sweet. Right there. So. And so I got two pieces. I got the two halves of a broken worm statue, six inches. Okay. High. Can I can can I see if Pistolet can mend that back together? Sure. You want to mend that, Pistolet? Mending. Sure, I'm mending. Are you mending? I'm mending. Okay. Um. All right. So you uh mend it. And um, I assume this is this back at the house. Um, I think it would be probably right. Yeah, I suppose. Most likely. Yes. Okay. I just, okay. I just got a bad feeling. <laughs> Why do you have a bad feeling? <laughs> I don't know. What? What? I'm just asking. All know. right. So you're all sitting around the table. You're bringing all your stuff, and you're like, oh, you know, I got this, and you're like, oh, I got that. Um, and then Pistolette, uh, who's all around the table? Uh, so <laughs> I'll say Yaslin is not there because he's busy trying to get those potions for you. 
Devlin is definitely there. Darabeth would be there. Darabeth would be there. Uh, Sheila would not be there, and Mel is not there. Uh, Sharon's on the back, and then Florida's making drinks and sandwiches. Okay, uh, so, uh, Pistolette, when you mend this thing, it glows. Roll me a d14. Okay. Seven. Lucky number seven. Good old number right. seven. Crabs. Okay. Roll me pistolet. Uh -oh. Heads is a bane. Tails is a boon. Roll me the uh, the coin flip. Heads, bane. Nice. This is a bane effect. Yeah, that's not okay. good. That's what I said, nice. <laughs> okay. And that's probably going to affect everybody on the table. Okay. Starting with Lear. Lear is number one. Parent is two. Devlin is three. Pistolet's four. Griff, you're five. Darabeth is six. And Flart is seven. Uh, Pistolet, roll me a D7. Darabeth. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, you see if I could bring this up. Hopefully I can bring this up if I saved it correctly. Uh, no, that's not it. Damn it, I didn't save it correctly. All right, so you see appear from this when you pistolet, when you mend this, an ancient rune. You've seen a few of these before. <laughs> no. On the portals. Yes, you mostly seen them on the portals. You saw it on like one treasure chest. You saw it on the door. door. Yeah. Um, and it's one, um, one that you potentially haven't seen before. And I, I, I can't remember exactly all the ones, but this one has basically two wavy lines. Um, they would look like an equal sign, but they're wavy. And there is like a backward C in the middle of it towards the end. Um, and Darabeth has to roll a wisdom saving throw, which I'm going to see if she can even. At least she's, at least she's right next to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's going to get a plus two, right? Plus three, four. plus two, plus, plus oh. four. Yeah, and she gets another plus four. Sweet. All right. So she's, she's got a chance then. Yeah. yeah. Hang in there. Uh, she does not. Oh. So uh, when this rune goes off, um, you see her. Uh, she just kind of like, kind of like freezes. Um. And she is um, incapacitated. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's not terrible. Maybe. Yet. She could be mentally somewhere so she else. She can't move or speak. Um, she can't take a. Uh, and she can't take actions or reactions, so I guess she can speak. What was that looking at? That was just that was weird. Was, what else I was looking at? Uh, she can't take actions or reactions. Huh. Okay. So she, she's like, "What? What the? F 
what the fuck just happened? Um, and then you see the, the, the thing stop glowing and pistolet as, I don't know if you drop it, would you drop it? If this like ancient rune came out of it, would you hold on to it? What would you do with it? I would probably drop it. Yeah. You kind of drop it on the, on the, on the table. It doesn't break or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, Darabeth goes, what, what just happened? Uh, I don't know. We put the thing back what? together, and it did a thing. What do you mean you don't know? Well, we—it uh, was a piece of art. I thought I was. We were... That's no piece of art. Okay, what is it's it? It's a piece of shit. <laughs> Sometimes it can be either or. Right? No, it can't. How do you feel? You okay? Well, what do you care about my feelings? Oh, just asking. You, uh... you seem on edge. You're on edge. You're on edge. You're on edge. Everybody's on edge. No. <laughs> I'm on edge. Yep. I look under my seat to see if there's a prize. <laughs> I, I, I just can't really do anything. Like I can't, I can't. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Just saying. Just I'm not going to be okay. You're, you're. No, no. This is this is something really wrong. What happened to me? I don't. What, what, we, you tell us. You're the magic-y person, Pistolette. Do you know what happened there? Do I know? No. Uh, oh. Was it? You know what happened. You Dude. know what happened. I you were the one who meant, set it off. I just you targeted me. Little figuring. It. You targeted me. No. No. Yes. It was uh, random. Uh. Everybody, roll insight. Okay. Maybe. Uh. Uh, yeah, Lear. So Lear, uh, with the seven, you needed the seven. Um, Pistolette, don't forget your two things at the beginning of the day. Your two... Oh, your portents. Portents. You may or may not use them for the rest of the day, but don't want you to forget to roll them. Unless you rolled them already. I don't know. I have to check. Maybe. I don't think you did. I don't remember. I don't see it yet. Because this is a new day. It's a new day. Uh, uh, not, no, you, you did a long rest, so I didn't roll them. Yep, correct. Somehow I lost the, the tower. You lost the tower. Roll. Yeah. Well, you can roll the the portents out in the open. No, but the other one, uh, the the say the inside. I'll just start, just roll it out in the open. That's fine. I don't know where the tower is. That's fucking funny. Is it underneath the map or something? Probably. No, I moved everything. Uh oh. Did it be know. under the chat that I can't move? You can move the chat. You can unlock it. Uh, you can also disable the dice tower, I think. I don't know if you can do it on the client side. You can't. No? No. The okay. DM can disable it. That's the only person. Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. All right. Uh, with the seven extra leer, you get it. Perrin gets it. Griff gets it. Pistolette, you don't get it. Um, Losey, I said so. Darabeth, um, just kind of the way she's acting and everything, obviously you know there's something wrong because she hasn't acted like this. Um, she has 
basically from this rune has changed her personality. And the way she's talking is she's disagreeing with everything you guys are saying. Do we think it'll last forever? Most of the things were temporary that I thought I remembered. But that may not be true. We don't we probably wouldn't know that, right? You don't know that. But was it, isn't that I'm tr Brian's trying to remember most of the, the things that we've gotten in the past were temporary. Right? Yes, mostly have been boons. I don't know if you've had very many banes. You guys uh, have been very I, lucky on that. Only the cow stuff was bad. Yeah, that's a cow. That wasn't the, that's yeah. the cow. But yeah, I think for the most part, the rune uh, has been favorable for you. Okay. There might have been one bad one in there. But so I this, this is an example why you don't go through a portal. You should go through portals. Right. That's what she would say. Yep. Oh, I see. Each, the first person goes through, you either get a bane or a boon, and it could be anything. No, you don't. Yep. I no. agree. Yeah. No, you don't. Right. You're correct. Well, it's definitely you are not. Fault. It is nothing but somebody's fault. Yeah, yeah definitely our fault. He, she gets up. She go. She just kind of like leaves. Oh, <laughs> Devlin goes. <laughs> Damn! What a bitch! What happened? She's in a disagreeable mood. Yeah. You're in a disagreeable mood. <laughs> you hear from the hallway. Pistolet ex will explain those monthly problems later to you. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, roughly, you know, she she goes away. Um, after about an hour, she comes back and goes, "Look, I don't know what the fuck that was, but I'm feeling much better, much like myself now." That's good. Welcome back. No, wait a minute. No, you're not. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> I'm All right. Her. Roll me a wisdom saving throw as she casts Toll the Dead. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. So, you know that this uh, rune, um, again, it looks like. Uh, let me see if I can find a quick picture of it online. So I guess the question would be, is the object itself, it went off because Pistolet, Pistolet mended it, but will it go off every so often now? Or who touches it? Or I guess we need to know that part too, because then we just sell it as a magic item and get rid of it, maybe? Or... I mean, we definitely don't want to leave it laying around the house now. Right. Is Along with a... the heart, that's kind of just in a yeah, yeah right. Just in a glass we, case or something. We know that thing's bad news. Does this still give off like a magic tingle? Is it? Pistol uh, is anybody right? touching it? Not right now. That. No. Do you want? That's what it looks like. Do you want to cast identify on it? Well, she has to touch it in order to do that, right? right. Is she protected whenever she casts Identify when she's touching it? I don't know if that's true or not. I never knew I that. Don't, I don't think so. Anyone, everyone want to gather around me here? So if something goes off, you get a plus four to... <laughs> like, like. Yeah, I don't know if Devlin needs to be in the room. I mean, he can, uh, yeah. yeah, he'll just Devlin, uh, yeah, he can watch. He can watch from a distance. Yeah, Flard, you want to duck down behind that bar there, buddy? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let me uh, let me go in the back room here. Uh, gotta get some more sandwiches. We need, right. We need like a padded room or something where we can do shit like this. Uh you have well the, the remember the summoning room, but it, you guys changed that into a bedroom yeah, for like so. everybody. Right. Yeah. So. I mean, we needed the space to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But but that doesn't mean we couldn't do it back there to be you know. Okay. Pistolette, you want to run the, uh, throw those two portents up? Or those two D20s? Just in case somebody might need, uh... Oh, that's nice. A nice. 15 and a 17? Two that's good, good ones, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, Pistolette, are you going to cast Identify? you got to kind of pick it up and touch it. Parent shoots it. You shoot it? <laughs> Parent, sorry, I was just, sorry. I was just double checking something. He's sorry, cleaning his crossbow and it just went off. Okay, yeah. I was just gonna, like, what? I was like, <laughs> you gotta make sure that <laughs> okay. shit ain't loaded, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> when you're cleaning it, yeah, I just uh, uh, parted Devlin's hair down the middle. Yeah, what the? Fuck? <laughs> all right, all right. So, piss lot. What you doing? That never happened before, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, never. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, tell me how you're identifying this thing. Why am I identifying it? I don't want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Not with what it did. Okay, so you're just leaving it on the table. Yeah, I like the glass case thing. I like oh. to have a room of oddities with parts and shit you shouldn't touch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I mean, that could happen. I mean, Flart could get, you know, he could get you some nice glass cases and everything else. He's going to need some gold for that, but... Yeah. So like, here, touch and take these things. Yeah. Just Flart dusting it. All of a sudden, Flart, you come back and it's just a pile of ash. <laughs> I'm not saying that could happen on the, one of these. No, no. No. That would be... Hopefully not. That would be pretty extreme, wouldn't it? I sure would. I haven't anything like that. Shit. All right, so Incinerate. What do, we, what do we do with this thing? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, what I can mage hand it. it. I can mage hand it and put it away, but I mean... How much does it weigh? Oh, I don't know. How much it weighs? Uh, uh, a little case, a little coffer of some sort. A little, uh, two and a, it's something uh, five that locks. Pounds. Oh, it's okay. two and a half pounds. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I think each, probably. probably. Each. Yeah. So it's five, five pounds. Five, five pounds, pounds, yeah. Yeah, so you Put could definitely together. do it with the mage hand. Yeah. Yep. All right, yeah, I mean, if that's what you want to do. And where are you putting it? Into a little chest or something. Okay. Hey, you guys got, like, a chest and stuff. Yeah. Okay. In the bank. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Mage hand it over to the halfling. You give an ass to each you, of them. You couldn't do a mage hand. No, not there yet. But it's a magical yeah. item potentially, so you wouldn't have well, to worry about give it. Either. A, you give an ash to each of them, and you slowly walk away. At one point, they figure they go together. So that's when you hand hand them the sack and say, "We want to deposit this, but I wouldn't open it." Ah, uh, it's got all the anti magic anyway, so it doesn't oh, yeah. matter. It wouldn't do anything there. There we yeah. go. Like the rune would even care. It might go through all their stuff, and they'd be like, "Oh no." <laughs> We found something that does work They're in here. They're trying to rob us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Summons the alarm. We all get, like, destroyed by fucking 25 Dark. veterans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we would give them the warning ahead of time, you know? Yeah. You can look in the bag. How's your party die? Well, the we bank of water deep. They tried to rob it. Now they brought in a fucking like, rune. Killed someone. Accidentally. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna keep that in the house then. Okay, I guess is that right? <laughs> yeah, looks like it. All right, okay. so I'm gonna leave the cartographer supplies, the three statues of Loth, and the wood carving tools in the house too, to get rid of the weight. Okay, and the three statues of Loth. I guess can we sell them or not? I mean, I. Uh. What are they more, more toward the party. It's a couple gold each. Let me look. Uh, 
Yeah, they're not worth. Can we sell those at the Goblin Market? They're one gold each. So oh, we yeah, might we might get two gold for all three if we're lucky. At the Goblin Maybe. Market, yeah, no, we probably no, we're... like five coppers. Right. Well, who worships who worships lock here? Right. <laughs> Nobody. Drow. I mean, right. it might sell it as an oddity just to a collector. Are they on the surface? I doubt it. I don't know. Very few. Somebody wants it. I mean, somebody, but you know, yeah, this is fucking I mean, water deep, right? I mean, somebody's yeah. into that shit. Can, yeah, we I mean, put it, can we put it under a box with a stick and try to trap a drow? <laughs> 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 okay, that's that's an inspiration that you'll never use. You'll have to give the griff, uh, pistol. Let go ahead and give yourself an inspiration. Uh, I don't mind. I don't mind using them on, on griff. It's funny anyway. Yeah. So. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Yes. All right. Uh, so the broken worm statuette. Three, three statues of Loth. The woodcarver's tools. Just put house, or do you, or do I have to put that? Uh, we, yeah, we can't. Yeah, we can't. Oh, yeah, we can't. Okay. Uh, okay. Well. Okay. Uh, so. That's for my knowledge. House. Uh, what's this obsidian figure that's just sitting in here? That's the that's worth drow twenty-five figurine, gold isn't it? pieces. Isn't that the drow figurine? Yeah, this is another drow goddess loft in spider form. Oh really? Yeah. I thought that was the one you were talking about. No, no, I had them in my inventory. Oh, and I see. Statue I, of loft. I've so got one crazy. too. I've got one too. The obsidian scarab. No, yeah, a... there's there's a bunch of those flying oh, around. Yeah. Obsidian scarabs, yeah. I think they were different. They're the little ones, but yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, you got two silver bracelets. Uh, also. Yeah, I don't know where those came from. Those came from... <sighs> we loot those. Uh, one of the wizards. The, the, the One of the drow... Mm. Wizards. So it's a silver bracelet set with onyx. It's two of them. So I can put that as house too, yeah, if you want. Please. And then if, we'll if you're looking to sell these stuff. items, um, Florida will try to get around to it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. I mean, okay. do we want to do we want to keep the kits around the house, not sell them? I don't know. Do we? Will we ever need them? I, I mean, I personally don't. I've got my cartographer tools with me for mapping. Can anybody use a disguise kit, or do you have to be? Oh, hold on. I have a disguise kit too already. I I can use it. Oh, yeah. I see. No proficiency just lets you add your proficiency bonus. Yeah. Right. Anybody can use the kits though. I mean, might as yeah. well keep them then if anybody can use them. Yeah. Make yourself look like something else. Yeah, I've got. I, I'm carrying right now. I'm carrying a disguise kit and cartographer's tools, but I didn't want to carry four, four or five sets of tools. You know? Do you want to take the hooded lantern, or do you? I, I did already. I'm sorry. I can't delete it, so I already okay. have it in my inventory. Yep. Okay. So you grabbed it out of there. So there's yep. no hooded lantern. Right. And Griff has mine, but it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. So that's not a bullseye lantern. That's a hooded lantern. I guess functionally they're the same thing, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, it is the same thing, isn't it? Right. I mean, it's not, but, I mean, we don't really have a way to play with just a beam of light, so... Right. Yeah, they so the hood of lantern doesn't bullseye it, though. Like, the bullseye right. will just... Can you put it directly in front? The hooded lantern is... That's why, because um, I had a hooded lantern when we bought the two bullseye lanterns, so the um, hooded lantern stayed at the, in the house. That's that's, right. that's why yes. that... Okay, I, mis I misunderstood. I thought it yeah. was... So the hooded lantern is lit, and then you can close it. Close it, but it still radiates dim light for five feet, even if you close it. Oh. So it's not completely it's not off. off. I see. Right. So you let me know if somebody wants that. I'll leave it in the house. I'll just remove the... Okay. Oh. Sorry about that. 
I, I, for some reason, I was thinking that it was one and the same, and I didn't pay close enough attention. That's okay. But that was that was my original lantern when I first started the character. Okay. The hooded one. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so, um, you, um, I assume we're good for the rest of the day. Yeah. Oh, you need to get two potions. Oh yeah. So two two Yazlan potions of healing. Yes. I think so these are better, right? two uh, Yazlins of greater healing potions. Nice. So two of these. It is four D four plus eight. Oh wow. Whew. My boy will allow to raise here soon. Yeah, I'm good with that. And yeah. then don't, he's like, don't forget the Umber Hulk. Yeah, oh no, we we're, we're looking. Yeah, honestly, that's, that's what I kind of was saying before. I was thinking about giving all of our folks a raise to keep them loyal. Yeah. That's, that's a good idea. I mean. We have it. No, that's what, yeah. So maybe the beginning of next month, we... Tell them that they're all that their new pay is such and such, and give them more money or whatever. I don't know. I like it. I mean, it doesn't have to be a whole bunch, but yeah. Okay. All right, uh, and then he heads home uh, for the day. Um, I don't have those things coded, so I'll get that coded. I think we'll need them today. Okay. Um, and so they're 44 plus 8. Who wants those? And I'll put those in the inventory of whoever wants one of each or whatever. I do have lay hands, so. How many we got? Yeah. There's two. two. I've, got cure, I've got cure wounds, so maybe, maybe pistol at later make the most sense. I have nothing. Yeah, I don't have any, I don't have any potions at all. I mean, I have... Yoslin's pushing a healing item in my inventory, but zero of them. So right. I have one regular potion anyway. Like I don't I said, even. Yeah, I, got, I have lay hands. I have cure wounds. Like I, I have options. Okay, I will put one yeah, in pistolets and one in leers then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, so you guys uh, go. Uh, you get another long rest in. Um, so during the night. Um. Lear, you don't dream, right? Nope. I mean, you, I trance. You kinda, yeah. yeah, you kind of do in a trance, but it's really weird. Um, in your trance, um, you are like taken back to the bank of water deep, <clears throat> and your interaction with the uh, first with Sid the tif the tight tiefling. Jeez, if I could say that. Uh, you kind of like start it and it goes and then you like restart it and you go over like word for word what happened and then it moves on to when you were interacting with the halfling and this happens about a half a dozen times uh, for each uh, during the night um, it's just you know when you get out of your trance, you're just kind of like, what was that? Like you've you've kind of had some of this before. Some of the other party members have mentioned it, um, and um, Griff um, during the night for for you, um, you were brought to the uh, to that palace that you visited once before. Um, that had like all sorts of debauchery going on, um, you know, kind of like a, a, an orgy going on. Um, just, just, you're just look walking through this palace and you're seeing some kind of sick things. I mean, you're seeing somebody like getting lashed at the, uh, from the wall. Somebody's getting cut. Um, you see what it looks to be like a vampire drinking blood. Um, and then there's, you know, like a kind of like an orgy scene. Um, and once again, you're greeted by this really 
handsome man, like just one of the most handsome figures you've ever seen. Uh, and he comes up to you, Griff, uh, and he says, um, I'm proud of you. You're a survivor. And that's what I need. I need a survivor. You're growing in your power and your belief in Helm. But know that when the chips are down, you will beg for me and not Helm. When that happens, I will be there for you and you will do something for me. And once again, he touches your shoulder. Um, roll me a D100. Ooh, okay. Okay. You have a new flaw. Cool. Uh -huh. And it is a doozy. Uh, let's see if this works. How do I whisper? Oh, wait. I know how to whisper. I've done it a hundred times. Okay. You can actually go straight to his flaws yeah. and, drag and, dro and drag and drop it and put it right in his flaws. That oh, way. really? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Is it in uh, addition or replacing? It replaces. Yep. So you could probably add it and then you'd probably have to delete the old one. I don't think it'll replace, but yeah. it, it'll definitely add it. Word for word, that way you don't do. I, I like seeing Plot. the old one. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Okay, so <laughs> mine too. <laughs> oh man! Right? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, that would. I mean, it does. Right. It could be. Yeah. Of course. Yep. Okay. All right. So the day goes by. Uh, Perrin, uh, you you don't have um, any nightmares or anything else. And same with you, Pistolet. You're able to um, uh, rest easily. Uh, you don't have to run uh, Lear and Griff. You're not rolling anything for exhaustion you guys do get in the long rest okay um, so you're all good there i would definitely tell the party what my experience was during my trance so they're fully aware of what it was because it didn't mean shit to me to be honest and that's what I, that's exactly the way i tell them but okay. i would tell, tell i would tell them exactly what happened that way they heard it they know it you know uh, so this has happened a few times to the party. I think it's happened to Jalen. It's happened right. to Perry, I think. Not sure if it's happened to... Yeah, I mean, we've all heard it before, yeah. but I mean, I would yeah. make sure that everybody knows that I had one of those last night. It's kind of why I'm wiping the sweat off my brow, that kind of thing. It's just, you know, kept me up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, Griff knows it was his patron. He's not saying shit. Yeah, of course. I, yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, so uh, the new day is gone. Uh, Pistolette, if you want to roll your portent uh, for today. So we have that. And then for everybody, I did finish what I know of the portals by level, and they're all shared for everybody. And then we'll slowly add or, you know, I'm willing to add anything that we learn about them as we go. Yeah, that's awesome. Man, those are some really good rolls, too. Again, 19 out of 13. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, it is 7 a.m. 
you are well breakfast. What do you want to do today? Down to the dungeon, right, fellas? Oh, here. Let's do this okay. first. Fellas Six good. hours is how long the first psychic whispers last for free. Nice. Uncheck. Okay. I'm back to not used any. Okay. So you head to the yawning, 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 the yawning portal? Yep. I think so. We're good, right? Y'all? We're going to level two to find the portal for wood to go to level five. Does that sound right? Yes. We are We are not attacking the Aboleth, right? Like, we're going to leave that alone? Oh, yeah, I don't think we're no, ready. Yeah. yeah, we're not ready to do that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just Did we want to uh, spell that, want to sell that spell book now or to that later? Oh, if who days there? Oh yeah, yeah, she should be there, right? She's usually there. Yeah, so she's she's there, um, and um, when you first walk in, um, <laughs> you're instantly greeted, right? You walk in, and you go, you hear a hello. Hi. How have you guys been? Have you found the damn throne yet? No. And it's looking, Volo. We're looking, Volo. We've got a lot of stuff going on. My friends are getting restless. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll go find it. Okay. Right. I mean... You, still, you haven't heard any extra clues lately, have you, right? Anything, or anything you maybe forgot? To you know, I've time? been up and down... I've I've visited almost every tavern here in Waterdeep, and I can't get anything other than free drinks. And unfortunately, I've been thrown out of most of them. That's unfortunate. Well, Sounds familiar, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, people just don't know great talent when they see it. It's it's unfortunate. It's a it is. Really, it's it's a good thing I have my friend uh, Dern in here to 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 understand that I uh, uh, offer a lot to a tavern. And Dern just rolls his eyes. Clearly. Clearly. What was the? Uh, I'm pulling up the notes now. Uh, magic short bow. Yep. I gotta find the alabaster throne. Do we want to try? To solve and finish that? I mean, it's not like we haven't tried. We just, I, I think it must be hidden somewhere because, you know, we haven't come across it and we've mostly well, cleared all the Le areas. Lear thinks that it's in the area we can't get to, the dwarf area we can't oh. get to. Because it was about the city of dwarves, I mean, according to the story. Oh, it's an elven throne taken by the dwarves. Right, and the, yep. and uh, and there's that dwarf area in three that we can't get to. I see. Do we have any leads on how to get in there? No, that's the area that shocked us. Right. Because I think none of us were dwarfs. It takes a dwarf to get in there. That's what I think, but I don't know that. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> So what? I was just trying to think. Do we know any dwarves? Anybody? Any dwarves that might come hang out? But I, I mean, I wouldn't say what level it was on, but our party knows that. So I would psychically say what Lear's thinking. But I mean, that's just a guess. But that's, you know, there's a whole area, level three, that we didn't go through. Right. That. And now, it could be right. down in level 12 for all we know. But yeah. No, no, it's definitely not a level 12. It's like the like first four levels. Okay. Yeah, see, I, yeah. I doubt it's like past that from all the stories we've heard. Well, well I'm sure you so, guys will find it. Yes, we're, we're so, so, look around. Right now. So, psychically to the party, we can hire a dwarf to come with us. Open yeah, up the air. Look, you know what I mean? We so, look around. Do we, do we see a dwarf in the area? Is there any dwarfs hanging around this bar? <clears throat> Any dwarf clerics in the bar? I mean, my point is, we can escort the dwarf down there, maybe even open it up, and then come back and report back to Volo and say, "Here's where it's at. We know where it's at. Yeah, we know how you get in it." But so does this guy. We're leaving now. Bye. 
and get our short bow and leave. You so know there I mean? is like a uh, there's like a, a table. Uh, it's early in the morning, right? So there's not like there's a lot of people here. It's seven o'clock. Um, uh, there is a table that has like three dwarves at it. They're like look like laborers. Um, right. You know. <laughs> I say we hire one for ten gold. Say all you're going to do is follow us down. We're going to protect you all, the whole way, that kind of thing, and then you're going to help us open up a door, and maybe that'll work. Yeah. Well, we won't describe that too much. But like I said, an elf, me being an elf, I'm willing to sacrifice a dwarf. You know. Yeah. Or I mean, we could tell them there's a dwarven door that we can't open, and you right, know, we'll pay them. 10 to come down, and then another 10 if they can get it open. Yeah, there you go. Something like that. I mean, okay, so you're going over to the table of dwarves. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's uh, two females and a male. Uh, there. Uh, there's three. Sorry. Uh, there's three. Two females and a male. Um, and uh, they all got nice beards. Nice. Of course, uh, and they they kind of turn to you, and, and that's your that's your pitch. Well, I think I would let Griff do that because me being an elf probably okay. wouldn't be the best person to try to convince them. Right. But, okay. So that's the idea. Okay. I mean, I, I'll, st I would... I'll stay I'll stay back a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I would tell them like, hey, you, you know, how you doing? Hi, my name's Griff, Paladin yeah. Helm. Uh, we're adventurers yeah. down in the uh, Undermountain, and we have... yeah, yeah, we got some bets on you. Okay, um, yeah. we have a dwarven door that we can't, we don't know how to open. We think it might have something to do with a dwarf, you know, opening it. Yeah. Uh, anyone here? Interested? Have you tried knocking on it? Uh, no, I don't think we've tried that. But I mean, okay. Would any of you be interested in coming down into the dungeon with us, escorted, of course, and the, opening this door for us? You mean down in the... down the well? Yeah, wouldn't that be amazing? Adventure of a lifetime. And we would keep and you it's, perfectly safe. And this door is right by the well? No. Oh, there. Sorry. No, it's it's a. I mean, how far is it, guys? Is it probably about an hour? To get down there. What? It's about an, an hour. hour. Yeah, it's about an hour's walk. So it's on the first level. No. We've heard there's like a vampire in the first level. Yeah, we heard that too. Turned out to be a bunch of, you know, thugs pretending to be vampires. Oh. Well, why is there, like, an alert on the board that says, don't go to the northern part of the dungeon? Vampire. Well, I mean, it's probably a vampire. <clears throat> That's not where we're going. There, oh. There's still thugs that will rub you blind. <laughs> oh. They're just dead. Well, okay, so it's on the second level. It's actually on the third level, but the second level there's there's just a, a bunch of goblins. There's nothing else that's really. There's a bunch of goblins. Yeah, uh, at, at a um, what was it called? Market. Like they sell stuff. Goblin yeah. market. Yeah. Yeah, goblin market. There's a goblin stuff. market. Yep, but we don't have. To, we're not going to be going there. So we're going down to th the third level. Yeah. Of the dungeon of the man mage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out ten gold and slowly pass them from my left to my right then. Okay. Okay, what's on the third level? Uh, some friends of ours and then if you go way, way, way deep into level three, there's Skullport, but we're going nowhere near that. So friends, so there's like other dwarves there? Why don't you ask them? 
No, no dwarves. No, they're they're friends. They're you know they're friends of ours, but they're not dwarves. Oh, so humans? No, you can no. see by our party we don't we don't have many humans. I think yeah. Griff. Well, we Griff, got one. I mean, does Griff's the only does one? Race matter? Oh, to you? so they're elves. I mean, does race no. matter? Well, are, what are they? Friends. Oh, they're hobgoblins. They're hobgoblins. Yeah. And then you hear Durden scream out, you can't trust them fucking hobgoblins. Yes, we know. They're a bunch of assholes. But we've thinned them down that they're not much of a threat. And we're not going into their area in level three. So three levels you want one of us to go down. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> With a party that's already lost several members. No, that was a while ago, and I haven't lost any members. And a party that just came up that lost two members. Well, I, got I mean, that, that's why you're way. not going to go down with them. Uh, we're going to... And how much you offering? Do you remember, were you here when we came up with the young child? Oh, the one you trafficked? No. No. No, that didn't happen. Oh, the one you made the, the uh, uh, he made him a slave? No, the one we saved. The one who's free. The one who's getting an education. And oh, not, not that's not what we heard. The gangster. That's not, but that's yeah, not what that we one. heard. So you yeah. heard about him? Yes. He was deeper in the dungeon than where we we were where we would be going with you. So I mean, if you don't think you could make it to where our kid was, that's fine. But well, don't you think it's kind of funny that it's a dwarf and they're scared to go down to a dungeon? Yeah, built by dwarves. Built by dwarves. Look, what these what kind of dwarves are these? I mean, it's all right. We're yeah, just gonna... asking if you're. And how much well, you want? Um, I, uh, well, how much would you want? Well, what's what's gold good for you if you're dead? Oh, well, you won't be dead. Like I said, the kid the kid was farther down than you than where we were and you, going with you. It's and you could get you can get more if you're successful. And how much? Um, Hundred gold. Um. Uh, yes. Fifty to go down. Fifty if you're successful. Yeah. Hundred down, hundred up. Not worth it. Not to walk along beside us for a few hours. You get skills. And to open the door. You get skills. Can you? Can, uh, can you fight? At a club, yeah, no, not for two hundred gold. I got no armor, right? So we we can we can hire another dwarf that is a little bit more braver than them. That's what I would say to Griff. Yeah, yep, yeah. So it's, it's stop wasting time and uh, the chicken shit dwarf here. Oh, it's all right. They, you know, they're just patrons. They're not adventurers. I understand why they'd yeah. be scared. Yeah. Yeah, more money than he will ever make in the rest of his miserable life. An easy hour, and he's turning it down. Hey, again, how can I spend gold if I'm dead? You won't be dead. That's the point. And but, you can but... promise that, Paladin? You can promise I won't die? I can't be resurrected. I mean, I can't control people's actions. Like, I can't stop you from, like, running off a cliff. Like, so I can't promise you won't die. But I'll, you know, I can promise I'll protect you with my last breath. You can promise that, cleric. Or, sorry, paladin, not cleric. I can promise that I'll protect you. That, that as long as I'm breathing, I'll be trying to make sure you're protected. Okay, what, what's your offer? Uh, 50 gold to come down 
and then f yeah. 50 gold if you're successful in opening the door. And we will escort you back here when we're done. Yeah, that too. Uh, so the, the two females and the male kind of look at each other. Uh, and they'll go, can you, we'll discuss this. Can you give us a minute? Yeah, sure. sure, sure. We're going to go eat breakfast. Okay. Uh, if we haven't already. You see, they're kind of talking and, you know, they're kind of arguing a little bit and everything else, right? Uh, and one of the females, uh, she comes over and she says, so we're going to the third level. Opening a door. <laughs> and we're coming right back up. Uh, hang on one second. And I'll turn to the rest of the guys and uh, psychically, because we're still in our six hours, I'll say, okay. Yep. Um, I feel like we found a number that might work for them, but would we pay less if we just went and rented a mercenary for a day? That, that's what I'm, yeah, that's that's kind of what I was thinking. 100 gold is a lot. Right. And that's why I said no to the 200 right away. Yeah, but they're going to be squishy. This is a commoner. Right. I mean, so Lear's willing. Okay. Give me a second here. Perrin is going to skulk off to the washroom. Okay. Unnoticed, right? Unnoticed? Well, I'm just going to just sit, go to the washroom. It's, it's a crowded bar. Like, no one's going to care if I'm going to the restroom, right? That's super crowded now, but you could, yeah, I mean, you could go to the to the washroom, sure. All right, I'm going gonna, gonna to leave the bar as well. I'm just going to exit the bar. So I'm jump out the window. You're going to jump out the bathroom window. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to leave. And in the alley, I'm going to cast Disguise Self on myself. And I'm going to turn myself into an average-looking dwarf. <laughs> I'm on board for this. I don't know what it is, but let's do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, so I look like, hang oh, on. you got to get a window open here. It's in the winter. It's in All the right, yawning well, court. Walk out the, I can walk out the front door. That's fine, too. It's, it's no big deal. Okay. The point is, I'm right. outside. Just, said, fuck so I'm, I'm burning the level one spell slide. I'm casting okay. Disguise Self. I'm becoming a dwarf. Okay. And I'm going to, uh, you know, let a minute or two pass, and I'm just going to wander into the bar, as any dwarf would. Yeah. And then uh, Griff is going to notice me, because I'm we're in psychic communication, and he's going to approach me and offer me uh, the, the deal. All right. Oh, shit. Uh, hang on. Maybe, uh, maybe this handsomely dressed dwarf uh, might be interested <laughs> Uh, just and I'll I'll look at the the three of them. G give me one second. I'll be right back. Hey. Uh, <laughs> hey. Well, you can't just walk away. Hey. What? Well, no, I'll be right back. We can fi we can finalize our deal in just a second. Okay. So, hi, dwarf. Uh, yeah. Well, well, met, laddie. How are you doing? Uh, uh, good. <laughs> Want to make a. Quick twenty gold. Twenty gold, you say? Well, wow, that's that's amazing. That's that's Wait, fantastic. How do what do I do? Easiest twenty gold of your life. Just follow us for about an hour, open a door, and then we'll bring you right back here. We'll put twenty gold in your pocket. Wow, well, that's fantastic. I uh, <laughs> let, let me just look at my adventuring gear. I'll be back in like uh, ten minutes. Or, uh, ten minutes. Oh. That's fantastic. We got 10 minutes. All right. Well, oh, and what did you say you were in? Okay. All right. Uh, Never mind. We'll, we'll exchange okay. names later. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, roll me, roll me performance. Both oh, of you. Man. Well, because you got to oh, change your voice. Disguise. Your voice doesn't get disguised, right? Well, I've got this. Well, I've got this guy's self, and they're like, you know, they're we're far I, enough away that you know we can't really, you know. Roll me, just roll me a performance. All right, <laughs> just not my strength, obviously. Okay. Although Pistolette could give me a thirteen or a nineteen if needed. 
Yeah. Um, so you, you, Griff, Perrin, you guys are, <laughs> it, it, you know, to, to Pistolette and to Lear, this looks absolutely kind of ridiculous. Comical. <laughs> yeah, it's like comical, right? Like, Lear, you kind of probably have to turn away, put your hand over keep, your mouth. Keep from laughing, yeah. Yeah, from laughing. I mean, they are commoners, so they probably uh, have a group performance tanner. check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, in Pistolet, you're just kind of flying there like, what in the hell? This is never going to work. <laughs> yeah. Dernan's probably uh, laughing behind the bar. Yeah, Dernan's like kind of staring and he's like, huh. Ventures do anything, man. I remember the good old days. Um, and, uh, and so these dwarves are kind of looking over. Uh, they're, you know, the, the one female walked back to the other two, um, and they, totally bought it. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) They rolled with disadvantage. And the lowest they got was a seventeen. Oh no, they're smarter than we thought. They 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 go. <laughs> they rolled a twenty and a seventeen. Um, they they go. You know what? Whatever. You can take the dwarf. We're we're good. Let's get the fuck out of here. And they they walk off. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you guys. Uh, I mean, Pistolette could use the 19 if she so choose here. The 13 won't work. Sure, why not? Okay, so you're burning the 19 on this. Yep. Okay. Okay. So then, uh, just what it looks like, they, you know, they kind of, the one guy, the one guy is like, no, no, that shit was real, man. Uh, and so they, they buy it and they're like, oh, how much you offering to that fool? What? How much were you offering to him? Uh, 20 gold. 20 down and 20 up? Nope. It was just 20. He seemed, but you know, I mean, I made you the first offer and I feel a little bad. So, uh, we'll, 20 down and oh, pay another 10 if you can get the door open. 20 and 20. I mean, we'll just pay this guy 20. I think that's I'm going to just pay him 20 then. No, I think take the 20 and 20. Take the 20 and 20. All right. Yeah. I yeah. I feel bad because we did have it, a deal, we, but okay. We had, a, we, we had a laugh and it saved us some gold, so it's worth it. Okay. All right. Uh, Perrin, you can get an inspiration. <laughs> Nice. Okay. So then Mal becomes hostile. He runs in and he kills you, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you will have a extra party member. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess our intent is not to do anything but go straight to three and yeah, do this and then bring him back. Okay, so it's uh, one of the females is actually going to go down, uh, and her name is going to be. Ah, uh, let me put through my name generator. Let's see here, names. Uh, a dwarf. I don't have a. Why do I not have a dwarf? In... All right, we'll just do this then. Vera Holmson. Is going to be her name. I'll put her a commoner in the tracker. She has no weapons. She has no armor. Yeah. She, she's. She proficient in anything? She is not proficient in anything, and she has two hit points. Oh, doctor. 
Yeah, this will be fine. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna have to pay a gold piece to get her down. That's fine. She's like, uh, actually, you know what? She's got a club. Oh, sweet. Plus two to hit. So she knows how to swing something. Yeah. I'll give yep. her my silver short sword. <laughs> so, just for clarity, we're paying 40 gold pieces for a magic short bow. That's basically what we're doing. If this works. We're... we're, we're... For a chance for, for a, a magic chance shortbow. of opening a door that might be right. where the thing is. That's funny. It's stupid. Uh, really. and, and we get experience too. We finish off the level completely too for us, right? So. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, we yep. might be paying I mean, 40 for nothing. Or we might be paying 20 right. for nothing. Because they only get the other 20 if we. If they're successful, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but we're rich. We're like the yeah, it's worth, water deep. It's, yeah, it's worth, I mean, it's, worth, yeah, it's worth paying the 20 gold to me. Cause... I mean, I'm going to chuckle and laugh and turn to Dernan and, and throw a gold piece up on the bar. I said, can I, get, can I bet that she'll survive? <laughs> uh, I mean, out of your shot. Out of your shot. Of the <laughs> you just started no, a rush I'm, of bets against it, I bet. No, yeah, no, no, you no, just, no. all of a sudden you see everybody rush the... <laughs> All like ten people are in there. I got forty gold. She doesn't make it. Right. Yeah. So I mean, I'm only v betting one gold that she will survive. But, yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know if he'll consider her part. He, he does part not. Of, that's he what I does thought. Not. Yeah, he does not take bets from. Yeah. Throws your gold piece. He goes. I'll just keep this for her payment down. Okay. As we're walking past the other two dwarves, I'll wink at him and say, you might want to put some money on your friend coming back. You can walk out of here, rich dwarves, too. And then we'll uh, head down. Okay. Uh, and then you, you hear the other one, the, the male, say to the female, I got five gold, she ain't making it. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> <laughs> The other one's like That's look at look at it like she looks at him like what the friend. fuck like why would you do that? <laughs> so I would turn to Vera. I say you might want to re recheck your friends because you are going to return and you can then see who your true friends are. <laughs> so, all right, everybody, give a gold piece. Yeah, uh, are we two. good to stay? Go to eleven, or we we want to end here. <clears throat> I'm okay. Fine, right? Like we can. <clears throat> If we can get this this little side thing done, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I just subtracted two gold. The one that I already gave uh, Dernan and yep. my, the, my, one for me. Yep. Okay. I did two. I got uh, one for me and one for Vera. Oh, I already paid Vera. Yeah, Sorry. she already paid. He oh, already she paid. Already paid. Oh, okay, I'll go. I'll yeah. Go when I threw him the gold to, to to try to bet on her, he said no, and he said I'll keep oh. it for her going down. Okay. I missed that. Yeah. Okay, so, um, so you guys uh, get in the, the the bucket or whatever the the thing that puts you down, and as soon as you know, you close kind of the door to the bucket. You look over at Vera, and she's like shaking, like you know, uh, is this really worth it? Inspire, inspire, her, Griff. Yeah, I'll put my hand on her, and you know, I'll, I'll I'll look down at myself, and you know, my I'm full plate armor, and you know, we've come up and down through this area many times. There, there really are not even any dangers in the top floors. How and do if, you get through it? She says. Well, we're you know we have skills, and we've honed those skills through, you know trial and error and pain and revenge you know oh. we're we're here to you know rid this place of evil that's what we're doing here and you can help us with that and if you're not up for it that's fine you just you know give us our gold back and we'll send you back up but uh you know if you have faith that we can do this and we can you sure your new flaw doesn't say anything else about that? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> She's done. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> yes, but no. <laughs> 
So you'll, you'll be fine. <laughs> you know, you just uh, stay behind us. Okay. Do what we say, and All you'll right. be fine. All right. Yeah, she's like clutching her club. Yeah, two hands. Yeah. You won't, you won't and, even have uh, to swing it. But, but keep I, it close, I, just in case. Okay. Okay. I will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast pass without trace on the party as well. Okay. So we're gonna like oh, stealthily get down to where we need to go. Okay. All right. So that lasts for an hour. Uh, which is good, right? Because um, that way it helps you being a little bit more silent. Um, and um, so uh, you the the bucket goes, and you know, just instantly, it's it's eerie, right? It's just dark down here, um, and not that the dwarf is scared of the dark per se, but um, there's. There's just you know a lot of myths and and everything else about this this dungeon. Um, so uh, you kind of lead her out. Um, you go towards the the pillars. Um, you head south from the pillars. Uh, Void to trap. Uh, yeah, the trap's actually not there anymore. Oh, we disarmed it all the way. Yeah, you haven't seen okay. it actually. You haven't seen any of those traps. Um, okay. You're always using kind of a light, uh, so you're heading south. Um, you go into like the makeshift tunnels a little bit. Uh, you get past the the statue. Um, you go east a little bit, head north, and then you're sorry south. Um, then you go to the to the room with the the pit uh, and showing all the levels of under mountain. And uh, when you get there, um, you know, you've been here several times. Um, There really isn't anything uh, too scary or anything here. Um, But you notice that uh, as you're, you're walking and your light is casting off these shadows. Oh no. Your shadows start to move. And they detach. All five or just four? All five. Everybody needs to roll for initiative. Shit. As Dang it. Shadows. Wow, down in the your dungeon shadows now, too. attack. So, um, you better put your light on, Griff. Same with you, Pistolette, if you're using it. Okay, yep. Uh, so, Pistolette. Dang it! Ooh. And then Vera. So she instantly, like, kind of screams out, right? Like, stay with us. What's going on? Uh, and uh, let me roll. Oh, Vera. Okay. And just dodge. Dodge anything that comes near you. Defend. And these shadows don't look to be anything uh, you haven't seen before. As far as they don't look to be super powerful or anything like that. Um, They're just your normal shadows. So everybody on a good square. Uh, So clear. See your shadow is there. Uh... Based on the light, Griff. Ooh, I put his ass right in the wall. That wouldn't be good. Maybe on the wall, that's possible. Yeah, could be. 
Do these things need magic to, to harm? Would we remember that? I don't remember. I don't think so. I think they were just normal. Okay, normal beasties. Yeah, I, I don't remember to be sure, though, to be honest. I think Lear and you would remember. I just don't know. <laughs> so based on the light, yeah. kind of where I've got everything. Um, and so uh, we got six minutes, so let's see if we can get through a round. So shadow in front of you, Lear. Rolled really well. And yeah. it's going to go first. All right. Um, and it is going to try to reach out and touch you. Great. Yeah. That's reach okay. out and touch. Faith. And he hits. I am going to try to dodge it. You can. Okay. Uh, so you're going to take half of this. Necrotic. Nine, reduced down to four, and roll me a d4. Oh, shit. Okay, one. your strength score is reduced by one. Alright. So, uh, this is something you fought before. Um, it is something you know will go away after a short or long rest. Right. I'm, I, I'm, I have an effect already. I'm just updating it now. Okay. And that is... Uh, that is its turn. Parent, you're up. Uh, I see, forget to call him mute. Protect um, I'm going to take a opportunity attack from the guy to behind me because i'm going to come up this way okay actually i don't uh, need to never mind i can shoot through the i can shoot the, yeah. the thing that's beside her i want to yeah, yeah i want to eliminate that thing before okay just, we obviously want to protect her okay. so i am just going to use my p1 i'm not i'm still concentrating on the stealth thing for now yep that's a hit Okay, uh, it takes partial damage. I'm gonna wait. Ret I'm gonna retcon that. It's gonna make it my favorite foe. Okay. So it is now my favorite foe. So it's gonna take an additional one d six. So here's the d six that it takes from the first shot. All right. So it'll take a one extra one. one. Yep. For that. And then second attack at two. Uh yes, it does. Okay. All right. So eleven reduced down to five. Uh, and I forgot to do the umbral, the dread embusher. So yep. You get an extra now. attack. Yep. Yep. So. Q. Uh, hit. Some more damage. All right. Uh, this thing is wavering. It does not look well. Uh, it, it finally it's barely holding together. Bonus action, Pew. Yes. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, so you take it out with that last attack. Okay. That is what I wanted to do. So then I call out to Vera. Yeah. Don't run away. Stay with us. They'll chase you. You need to stay with us. We can protect you. Ha ha ha. And then let me... Be brave. Ha ha. Alright, uh, this shadow next to you, Griff, uh, he's gonna attack you. Okay. Phew. Yeah. Uh, and he's gonna try to, he's gonna try to reach out and give you a little kiss. Right. Kinda looks know. like you, it's kinda weird. But the shadow eat you. I mean, he's handsome, but... Yeah. And he hits. Ooh. Yeah. Alright, you're gonna take, uh, nine points of necrotic damage and roll me a d4. Your strength score is reduced down uh, by two. You look at the combat tracker. I've got it in there already. You can see how to quickly do it, man. Oh, I just, I just typed over it. Oh, okay. Uh, just remember what it was. 
Just right. remember what it was. Please. It was uh, 25. Right? Yeah. Yep. That's a, that's a strength drain. Not even like a life drain. It's a strength I, I, drain. Yeah, I had it to me, done to me before. And so it's, it's, I already had the effect in on my character sheet, so I just changed it. It was an 8 before. I got a strength drain of 8 somehow. I don't remember how or why. Was I attacked twice, maybe? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, Griff, you good there? Yes, I think so. Okay, okay, that's uh, that's its turn. All right, uh, this one that's next to it looks like uh, a, a halfling sized shadow. Um, uh, it's going to attack you. Fair. Uh, And it's going to miss. Okay. Griff. Alright. Well, I'm going to move here. And I'm going to... Oh, what do I want to do first? Uh, I am going to... They are undead. They are undead. I can choose that after I hit him, though. Oh, I'm okay. going to Hexblade curse this guy. He's going to get cursed. Okay. Yep. And then I'm just going to stab him a couple of times. Okay. Hopefully. Maybe That's a not. mess. That's a hit. Alright. Um, I am going to hit him with a... Divine Smite, just a level one. Okay, mark off the spell slot. Yep. And... Ouch. Yeah, that Ooh. just destroys them. Awesome. I mean, you, it just blows up. You know, the radiant damage from it just blows this thing right up. Uh, all right. I'm going to then move over here. Here. Okay. And that's it for me. Okay. I'm going to tell Vera, back up, back up, back towards the door. Okay. All right. Uh, this one next to you, Pistolette, uh, looks kind of like a fairy shadow. Uh, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to try to reach out and touch you. And it's going to completely miss. Pistolette, you're up. Yeah. So I'm probably going to miss this step the hell out of there. Okay, mark off the spell slot. Unless one, you get a free two, one. Four, five, yeah, one per day. Yep, okay. Mark off the free ones. Somewhere here. Not in the wall, but... Yeah. No, I got you. Any one of them hurt? Um... No. All three are, uh, looking fine. Two dead, three fine. Okay, so the one that can most... threaten Vera, so I'm probably gonna go for that yeah. one. Good call. Next one, the Baron. Well, okay. You can see it. Yep. Chill touch. All right. Oh, nice. Wow. Well, they're uh, immune to a lot of shit or resistant to a lot of shit. The critical or hit does quadruple damage. Wow. Ooh. Okay. So it's four times the damage. Whew. There. Nice roll. 23 reduced down to zero. They're completely immune, right? Uh, They're completely immune to necrotic. necrotic. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I knew they were immune to something. They're resistant to a lot of shit, too, right? Probably. Poison. They're undead, basically. 
that sweet okay. radiant damage, right? Yeah. Yeah, they do not like radiant. Yeah. That's good to know. Well, if this guy tries to get okay. a repair, he's getting some too. Okay. Since I hit it, it actually can't regain HP. Correct. Right? Yep. Chill Touch does that. And it has disadvantage if it attacks me. Okay. That was Clear. cool. Nice. Good job, Pistolette. You, you did something. I frowned at it. <laughs> it touched it really hard, but it didn't. Yeah. Go away. It was really chilly. Yeah. Lear. So, hmm. I'm going to take steady aim. Yeah, you are. Because I'm not moving. No. And I'm going to melee with this one. So okay. hopefully this works. Give him a stabby stab. Come on, get it. Oh! That hits. Oh, I got lucky. <laughs> You're all right. And he gets this. Yeah, he's going to get a whole lot. Not a whole, well, not a whole lot. Yeah, oh, it does, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he takes all that psychic damage, and he, uh, he just... Five, he, ten, fifteen... 20, 25 to there. Okay. That way I'm kind of blocking. You can't move. Oh, that's right. I can't move. Thank you. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. Right. Yep. I forgot. Okay. Yep. That's all I got. Okay. All right. It's uh, Vera's turn. She's going to re. Uh, she's going to charge. No, she doesn't. <laughs> um, she's she's going to go kind of like back here by the door. She looks behind her, make sure there's no shadows there. Um, and that's where we'll pick up, um, Alan. Question for you. Why are we picking up Alan? You're not picking <laughs> up Alan. You're the smallest ca character, so... I mean, yeah, we're gonna pick you up and... and <laughs> uh, I don't know if you saw the poll. poll. Yes, uh, I saw the poll. Okay. Uh, yeah. don't... I still can't answer. Okay. I don't know yet. Okay. So yeah, it's a long weekend in Canada, right? So Yep. Okay. That's fine. Just let just let me know. Uh there is no D and D next Thursday. I will be in Idaho, so um if we can get the bonus session in on Saturday, we will. If Alan you can't join, we won't do it because I'm not gonna do a bonus session without all four of us or all five of us here. So just let us know during the week. Uh, as early as possible. Um, but uh, if you can do it, great. If not, I'll see uh, everybody in two weeks. Awesome. All right, sounds good. Cool. Well, thank you.